What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? As you may well be aware by now, it's not just these public episodes we do here at Have A Word. We've also got a Patreon membership. But you know what? I don't want to give you any of the details about that today. And I know Dan doesn't either, because we're here with our assistant to give us all the info we need. It's Peter, the Hello. Have A Word snake. Peter, Peter, why should people sign up to Patreon? Because we all want a new Bugatti. <laughs> okay, that's that's a good reason. But what do the what do the lids get if they sign up at, at, for as little as three pounds a month? Uh, they get a f- an extra episode once a week. Oh, the Wednesday patron exclusive, which is some of our favourite podcasting. What else do they get? The yeah. early release, Peter. They get early release, forty eight hours, unless Finn's fucked it. <laughs> And then they also get, <laughs> and then they also get the patron specials. And which are, once I was in Paris, right, and I had to fly home and delete the early access because someone wasn't happy. So maybe that happens again, but you know, doesn't always happen. You've been doing some editing, Peter. <laughs> I've got no opposable thumbs. Down. I couldn't possibly edit. Just do it with your nose. Specials are good as well, aren't they? I think this is the one, by the way. I think we should keep doing it. <laughs> I do as well. So the specials that have gone out, there's loads of lock-ins. There's the ghost Oh, ones. the lock-ins are legendary. We the now restaurant about special. Lock-in. The restaurant special. We've got uh, the rugby league special. We've got uh, the football special. We crashed a car. The specials are now monthly, and they are legendary. It is the best three pounds a month you will ever spend. We're you also get like sp- discounts on merch Never and stuff, and that. access to the entire back catalog. <laughs> I was actually going to say I was going to kill myself, but no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If you don't sign up, I'll end it. What? <laughs> no, yeah, whatever Adam was saying. Patreon.com slash Oh, shut up, Pete, you stupid. No. Thanks, lids. Enjoy the episode. Wag Wag Lids, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal, and Finn. This is the one and only Have a Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com, the very best in below the belt men's grooming. Go, Ed, get on me. Here we are in Adam's Christmas Grotto. Yeah. Are you, oh. co- are you cold, Dan? What? You cold? <laughs> you look. <laughs> you're you way to go. You look like a granddad at Christmas. No, he looks like like a nan waiting for a bus. You do. Do you know what I mean? Is the 18 being down yet, son? (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to get home to catch Coronation Street. (laughs) Did you see last night's curry? No more curry. (laughs) No more curry. One of the best patron exclusive episodes ever. First half, I was having the time of my life. Second half, you just tortured me with fucking... Soap nostalgia from the early noughties. That now, if you're gonna ever get back into Cody, by the way, Dan, now is a good time to do it because mm. it's build up to Christmas, isn't it? Oh, and yeah. For some reason, in the land of soaps, someone always dies. Christmas, New Year, It'd be me killing it's myself. Never, it's never just oh, and then they had a really nice Christmas and everyone got what they asked for. No, it's like There's oh, not- Steve McDonald. McDonald? Yeah, I only said yeah. McManaman. Steve <laughs> McManaman. Steve McManaman's in it. No? I would watch Corey yeah. if Steve McManaman was Hello, in it. Hello, welcome to the Rovers returning. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I want Uwe Rosler to be the fucking landlord of the yeah, Rovers. Everyone, everyone gets a sniper rifle for Christmas on the South don't they? <laughs> everyone gets a sniper rifle. Steve everyone McManaman, gets- Uwe Rosler. That's, now I'm in. I'm starting to become more in. <sighs> You see, who's who's running the news agents on Coronation Street? George Ware. <laughs> Interesting. Are we supposed to be Prime Minister or President of Liberia? President, uh, President of Liberia. Liberia. He is. Is that a place? It is, yeah. yeah. It's just above Sierra Leone. It's just where... <laughs> wow. Wow. I, I tell you what, Liberia, he's a racist, but he's an informed racist. I thought Liberia was like a fantasy land. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, it was all a lie. I thought it was like what? Liberia was like a like a made a up joke place. Made Liberia. up country. Yeah, like oh, he fucking wants to live in like like he, he wants to live his fantasies out. Like he wants the best place on like Narnia. I thought Liberia. Liberia. <laughs> you think of the Siberia, but then that's real as well. <laughs> the the lion, the witch, and no, the war li- criminal. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Absolutely. It's like Narnia. What are we George on? Ray and walking in the No, Liberia just sounds dodgy as fuck. Well, was no, good. it sounds li- it sounds like it's been liberated. 
I thought, do you know You're what just mean? making words in your head sound like, <laughs> no, I thought Libraries. it was made up like a lie. It was like Liberia. <laughs> I thought it was just full of books. Libraria. <laughs> I... Go on, keep going, man. Oh, God. <coughs> yeah, it's an uh, African. It's a very African country. <laughs> I mean, George Ware is dead African, isn't he? Do you know? It's the levels of African. Yeah. I'd, yeah. Because there's like, there's South African, which is all a bit too white in it to be, you know. <coughs> and then there's the North African sort of Arab nations. How mad is it that there's just loads of white people in South Africa? It's, it is a little like, bit mad. How mad is it? How does evolution isn't... explain that? <laughs> yeah. Sun umbrellas. Mm. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one of the Charles Darwin. <laughs> like he yeah. likes to think he's all that, but at the end of the day, he's not explained <laughs> the white men in South Africa. He hasn't. No. Yeah. Why are white men a lot of places, eh? Yeah. And also, have we still got worms? What? I, I always <laughs> think this. <laughs> what? It's a good question. W- worms. Talk me through it. <laughs> Worms are like the start, aren't well, they? We were we- just talking about Liberia. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a Sudafed, but either you're being mental or Sudafed are fucking great. And I'm going to start snorting them. No, like we're, we were all originally worms, weren't we? And then <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we went <laughs> from worms to monkeys to humans. What? In that order. <laughs> worms? Evolution. Worms? We've all got like one common ancestor, haven't we? A worm? <laughs> Earthworm germ? <laughs> Yeah, it goes to worms, to fucking monkeys, to fucking white guys in South Africa. <laughs> Evolution. Now, one day, a worm had a baby and it was a monkey. And you're like, what? Can, I, can you get me another super <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine the first time, like, a human was born? Like, come out of a fucking monkey. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine how mad that was. Yeah, mad, isn't it? Evolution happened in about a quarter of an hour. Like, and then someone just comes out and is like, what's happening, mum? <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. The monkey's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Well, there had to, there had to be a, a day dot, didn't there? Yeah, that's there had to be the saying. first human. Like, there was a first oh. human. Like, you're saying it didn't happen overnight. Of course it didn't. But there had to have been, like, a patient number one. Yeah. What do you mean a patient first number homo one? sapien. Yeah, the first yeah. homo sapien has first to homo yeah, sapien. It's just the variants of homo all sorts, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they cake Christmas sweets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like Neanderthals and there was, there was loads of homos, wasn't there? Just god shaped sweets. Before sapiens, wasn't there loads of homos? Erectus, Homo erectus. Yeah, it was a real mixed bag. We're Homo erectus, aren't we? No, we're Homo sapiens. <laughs> homo erectus was permanently erect. It was just us, but with constant stonk for it. Up for it. You know yeah. why it was Homo erectus? Why? Because we were starting to stand up. The cock. The cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First erection. Fuck yeah. no. And before Homo erectus, hey, it was Homo semion. Monkey woman dad. Homo semion. <laughs> and then it was Homo f- uh, homo maggie. <laughs> homo flaccid. <laughs> <laughs> where, where we? Evolution, ladies and gents. <laughs> and Liberia. Take them off your bingo card. If you had that and you have a word bingo... It's a big, massive, <laughs> got your dabber and a massive fucking word soup. Fucking hell, Liberia. <laughs> Homo erectus. Can you get them off the list? Sudafed. Sudafed. Liberia. Homo erectus. First six minutes. Mm. If you can't follow today's conversation, try sneak. Try sneak. Uh, here we go. What's the names? <laughs> Astralopithecus. Afarinius. No, I want the um, fucking English ones. Okay, Homo habilis. Oh. Homo erectus. Yes. Homo neanderthalensis. And yeah. Homo sapiens. Oh, so there's one before. Erectus. That Homo sapien looks menacing. <laughs> Australopithecus. <laughs> yeah. He was from Australia. There you go. There you go. That's right. the one I've seen. And I tell you what, because it's hard to understand, I'll just pretend we all got made by a big white guy in the sky. <laughs> this is complicated, and I don't like it. It was a long time ago. So I think there was a big dude that looked like a Greek <laughs> philosopher Pull that back in the sky. Second thing. Right, Dan. See the Homo Neanderthals, right? See, at some point, two of them had a baby, and out came a John. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the first man. <laughs> 
first John. It was <laughs> John and Eve, wasn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? John. Yeah. They had, to be, they had to have been a... And like, then they had to wipe out everything else. Homo sapiens wiped out all other homos, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, because there's none of the other ones left, and we're homo sapiens. So we were, they were smarter, better hunters, and they just wiped out Neanderthals. I think Neand- fucking great Neanderthals and Homo England sapiens fans. were around England at the fans same were. time, weren't they? Coexisted. They coexisted. We just wiped them out because they were thick as fuck. Like, <laughs> England fans? Yeah. What, 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 what about the dinosaurs, Dan? You, you're really educating me. What happened with them? What happened with the dinosaurs? That's the life, wasn't it? What happened? What What do you mean? What happened? I don't know. What, are you tell me what happened with the Neanderthals, then what happened with the dinosaurs? I don't well, there was fucking dinosaurs everywhere. Bear. Was and bear dinosaurs. Yeah. And is it what what was the, the name for like the landmass of Earth before it became fractured? Was Pangea. it Patagonia? Pangea. Pangea. Patagonia. <laughs> yeah, it's <was> Patagonia. <laughs> Pangea. Pangea. And then so all the dinosaurs Flange. are there. They're all chilling. Enjoying the life. <laughs> Just <laughs> nibbling on each other. Like, yeah. what? Get off. And like, and oh, I'm a dinosaur. A fucking rock, mate. Come fucking flying out to the sky and fucking blew them all up. How did it blow them all up, though? Um, it was a... Well, end, it landed on one end of, of them. Of so one of them currents, wasn't it? Mass it landed on the head of a T-Rex. Yeah. So that was him done. Yeah, he was fucked. And then his family got sad and they died of depression. <laughs> cool. Um, and then squirrels survived. With, you know, squirrels aren't dinosaurs. The Ma- worms, mammals survived. The worms were fine because they were in the ground. And then they came out, became monkeys, <laughs> and now we're doing podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Where have you got this worms thing from? <laughs> Where have you got worms to monkeys? Worms, monkeys, <laughs> two monkeys fucked, and then John came out like lad. My granddad's a fucking worm. <laughs> Just one generation between worms and people. <laughs> Fuck, I know. No, this is how evolution goes. Worm, two monkeys, monkeys fucked, John, then Bill Shankly, and then we start winning things. Basically. Oh, he's dribbling. Oh, oh he's a Christmas dribbler. Tell you what, lads, you've done some fucking... Talking about homo sapiens, you've done some seriously camp work on this. On yeah. the... All credit, well, not all credit, but like 40% of the credit goes to Steve. <laughs> <laughs> all credit. Where's your other 50 going? What? Where's your other 50 going? What? Ah. Uh, uh, get on that. Uh, Rod, you. Ah, uh, wicked. Yeah, me and Steve went shopping yesterday. I can't believe spent, I um, on that. Spent 40 quid on some Christmas deckies. Liar, uh, liar. <laughs> Homo sapien pants on fire. <laughs> you spent... <laughs> <laughs> I love our business banking app because it's just such a fucking grass. I'm just at home, like, and all of a sudden, like, Adam Rowe spent. Adam Rowe spent. Well, we were going to get two threes originally. All right. So the plan was to get an eight foot one for in here, which is the one that we've now got out there. And we wanted to get a 20 foot one for out there, but then we realised the footprint would be quite big. Doesn't matter how big it is, it's the footprint because the bigger it gets, the wider it gets to the bottom. And you've got a fucking absolute batty. On your Christmas tree, <laughs> yeah, it yeah. can take. It can be quite the space swallower. Yeah, that's an eight footer out there. It looks fucking excellent. Do you know? Um, you are a bit of a lad sometimes, and then there's other times when you are um, a real little cutie. Like when it comes to Christmas decorations, I find it very considering how mental our family histories are. Like you could have been become hardened to Christmas, couldn't you? I don't like. Mean. Um, but every Christmas he gets so fucking into it. It's Im- massively impressive. I hate really to not nicely like Christmas. Done. I feel sorry if people don't like Christmas. I think when you've got loved ones that aren't there anymore, I think some people get a bit of a detachment with Christmas. I don't. I love it. But um, but yeah, you've you've really made the whole room look really nice, and the lobby looks fucking great. Well done. Well done, Steve. I really, hope the lights really are work, um, It's fine. It's Christmas, isn't it? If anyone's ba- bothered about the lights being distracted, they can just fucking suck me dick. Yeah. That's the go. only option. <laughs> Don't <laughs> turn the telly off. Adam Rowe's famous customer care. You are a bit of a lad on some things, but when it comes to Christmas, you're a bit of a cutie. Yeah, but if someone doesn't like it, they can suck my fucking granddad worm dick. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, why do you look like 
You're about to fly a plane. I don't feel good. <laughs> no, well. fly a plane. And I'm trying to c- reserve my energies because I want to go drinking with Will tomorrow in Manchester. Conserve. He conserve. Yes, that's <laughs> it. He's uh, it's his birthday. He's thirty years old. Oh my god! Shot on Will. Um, you can't have a shot on Will because he's behind the camera. But he <laughs> in front of the he camera. <laughs> lives in one of my favourite places in Manchester, Cholton. And I haven't been drinking there for ages. And I am adamant that I'm going to get there tomorrow. I've got clearance from um, the, the boss. Air traffic control? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have clearance on Saturday. I thought I had. And I got a phone call at 3 a.m. like, where are you? And that hasn't happened for a long time. Air traffic control drunk. Air traffic control. <laughs> woke, where are you? Air traffic control woke up, saw that I wasn't in my room and phoned me in uh, when I was out in Chester. And then uh, air traffic control woke me up at 9am on Sunday morning to look after my kids for three hours as punishment. That is air traffic loads. control your wife? Yeah. <laughs> it is, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. I thought they would have been needy these days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, got they've got no business with that level of... I've, I've got <laughs> full, <laughs> intrusion. Full intrusion. clearance for Tomozzi's, mate. Where the fucking dictionary for you, Steve? Are you both tired? What? I'm tired. Yeah, you've both seen yeah. him a bit he's tired. He's been putting up four and a half grand of fucking Christmas deckies. <laughs> no wonder he's tired. No, he's uh, bevying as well. Yeah, I had a few drinks. Celebrating a... Uh, you went to the Hawksmoor? I went to Hawksmoor, yeah. What were we what celebrating? Is, what is that? Is it fancy? Where it looks fancy. Week? It's a steak restaurant and it's an absolute bastard of a steak restaurant. Who is it? At the Porterhouse. Do you know oh. what the Porterhouse is? Steak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a question. T-bone. Yeah, but it's like a premium T bone. Yeah, is it one where you slide out the bone? No. Oh, right. what's that? Ribs. It, yeah, but <laughs> it comes like they pre <laughs> they pre slice it for you, so yeah, it comes yeah. in all the pieces, and then when you're done, you just deep throat the bone, get all the marrow. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we're going next week. Can we all get that? No. How um, much? We're not going there. Actually, we're going somewhere else. How much was? Can you just put a price? I've seen a picture of that steak. It looked good. I just want to know fourteen quid. Fourteen pound steak. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do they have an offer on on a Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, the, that, the, the peppercorn sauce was six hundred and fifty. Six hundred and fifty quid. So just don't get the sauce. Is my. <laughs> I'm just, I'm You've got you though, haven't you? Yeah. You don't have to. No, but they've got you there. But at you? Miller and Carter, they treat you like shit if you say I don't want sauce. In Miller and Carter, Cardiff, I was like, "Can I just get the steak and chips?" She was like, "What sauce do you want on top?" I was like, "Nothing on top." She was like, "Even the butter." <laughs> I was like, no, I don't want anything. I just want the meat and some fries. And she was like, oh, I can see you've not been to Miller and Carter before. I was like, I have. I just want steak and chips, you fucking that's Welsh lady. Custom, that's what a terrible, oh, she was dog terrible shit. customer service. What was her name? Was dog shit. What was her name? Barbara. <laughs> Barbara Cunt. Oh, she sounds like a, like a cunt. <laughs> she was a fucking rat. Just let me eat what I want. Adam, what were you celebrating last night? Because I think we should have all been celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Cunt <laughs> Imagine that was your name <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's your name love? It's Barbara uh, Barbara what? <laughs> this is Barbara no. <laughs> Barbara C What's the C stand for? Cunt I'm Barbara Cunt <laughs> okay. It's a German name Cunt um, What was I celebrating last night? Yeah. Health <laughs> <laughs> So you went for a big bit of red meat. <laughs> yeah. Just to fuck it up. Red meat's good for you. Not Do you know, Wednesday sense. night, I just think, what a blessing. Let's celebrate <laughs> health. Yeah, not uh, everything in moderation, but I haven't had that much red meat lately. Right. <laughs> what are the... I see a lot of videos on uh, social media of like... Like, like ribs and bones being yeah. pulled out. Salt of bay. Like, is that a bit much? Yeah, salt bay gives you the fucking salt through his arm is. Yeah. The fucking lizard. Yeah. Get yeah, one. all your fucking arm dandruff and me's going fuck off. I'm thinking of going veggie twice a week. Add it to the list. <laughs> <laughs> Go, talk me through it. Hang on, go veggie twice a week. I'm not giving up twice a week. I'm just going to leave the bullshit belt with me. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch twice as many animals die the day before the veg day. <laughs> yeah, I've got to eat two fucking steaks, Anna. It's fucking Thursday's veg day. Go on. What? <laughs> Go on. What are you thinking? You mean two days a week? Two days a week? Two days a week, yeah. Yeah. Twice a week sounds like you start again. Twice. What do you mean? You said twice a week rather yeah. than two days a week. No, twice a week. I know what he meant. Twice I know a what week. he meant. I was just being finicky. I mean, no, what I said was absolutely fine, and you knew exactly what it meant. I That's did, all yeah. that language is for. The passing on of knowledge. 
which is what this podcast is about, guys. <laughs> Evolution, Liberia, Sudafed, knowledge. <laughs> New merch. Pass Bar- Barbara. <laughs> Cunt. Come on, veggie. Um, what days? <laughs> what days? I'm telling you right now, you cannot go vegetarian on one of them weekend days, can you? I was thinking of doing Tuesday and Saturday. No, you, no. Saturday. Yeah. Why? Because t- I, I should be completely vegan, shouldn't I? Like morally. So Saturday is the hardest one to do, so I should be punishing myself. So I do Saturday. <laughs> Yeah, the lot for punishment. The should vegan be, Shabbat. How much Tuesday? The Sabbath. <laughs> Champions League night. <laughs> Tuesday's as far away as you can get from Saturday, apart from Wednesday. <laughs> it's as far away as you can get, apart from Wednesday. <laughs> it's a toss up vegan Tuesday or vegan Wednesday. Pick your preference. No, I don't think. If you're going to go veg, I'd suggest you do, I think, Monday, Thursday. I think Monday, Thursday. <laughs> Pancake Mon- day. <laughs> Monday, Thursday. Monday, Thursday. Do you not think? <laughs> That's gonna, the only day of the year you, you go not go. You can't go veggie on a Sunday or Monday, a Saturday. Monday, Thursday. Monday or Thursday. Oh. <laughs> Are you being massively difficult on purpose, Carl? Is it Just because I text you your whole family? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does Are you, does, you does, gonna, it, does you everyone really think me and Carl have got beef? No, I thought it was me and Adam. No, it was no, me. Did you, not, did you not see my Instagram? Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't week. really. I didn't uh, really. A lot of beef between uh, Carl Someone and said, Dan. Uh, there's such an obvious tension between Carl and Dan at the minute. What's <laughs> going on? <laughs> and I said, and I saw that. I didn't really read the question. <laughs> <laughs> have you just, have you just squashed Sexual. that now? Have you, have you forgiven had, him for fucking all of your aunties? <laughs> we've had to just have a little bit all of All two of them. Uncles. We just, all one of them. Yeah, we oh. just, we had that private little. So what are your aunties we single? No, I mean blood. What? I mean like blood. No. So so you've got six? No. Two aunties and an uncle and they're all all in relationships? Yeah. Yeah, so you got six? Not really. You can shag the married in ones. You can shag all the married in family if you want. I don't really want to fuck your family. <laughs> <laughs> Just to alleviate this tension we've got. <laughs> it is pretty edgy, isn't it? Yeah, it's because we haven't fucked this month. It's building up. Oh, God. You need to bum me head off. Fucking homo erectus over here, mate. <laughs> what were we celebrating, Adam? Um, when? Yesterday. John Barnes' birthday, wanna? <laughs> Meat loves birthday. <laughs> Bad. Is that what you call John Barnes? No. Is that your little nickname for John Barnes? He's no, a Meat loves birthday. Oh, was it? Happy yeah. birthday, Meat. Happy birthday, dear Meat Love. Yeah. <laughs> Is Meat Love dead? Dad, this yeah. year. Maybe last year. Oh, maybe last year. Sorry to break the news to you. I had no idea. And John Barnes That's is hit. still alive. John Barnes has gone mental, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen what he said about yeah. Hitler? Bad. What, Last what night context? <laughs> In what context is John Barnes answering a Qatar. question where Hitler comes into it? Qatar. So he's talking right. about Qatar and people protesting. And he doesn't think people should be protesting over there. And he said, you know, there was, you know, when Hitler was happening, no one was uh, protesting. Him, was they? Would, would people have <laughs> fucked with Hitler the way they're fucking with Qatar? He, did he say that? Yeah, on Twitter. That's not so he's far wouldn't off. dare do the same to Hitler's Nazi Germany as he tells fans to stop lecturing the World Cup hosts over human rights in a bizarre rant. Oh, take the microphone away from John. Basically, invite the world to your country, but don't let them, you know. He it. was hired by Qatar, wasn't he? To. Um, <laughs> Going right down the list. Every ex footballer going, No, thanks. What about Ian Rush? No, he's got half a brain. What about John Bonds? Yeah, yeah, I'll take the money. Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, dear. Do you think John Bonds is Scandinavian? <laughs> he's, got, yes. he's got a bit of a mental voice, though, John Bonds, hasn't he? He's got a bit of a mental yeah. head. He's just a fucking head the ball. ate the cunt. Yeah. Got that off, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Didn't he have some, like, like really rough. Porn on in the background or something. He was doing an interview <laughs> on the yeah. telly, <laughs> and, the te- and there was like a, I don't know, something, something in his in his in the background was like, is it? I don't know. I think it's he's on a porn video. He was on Sky Sports, and then his <laughs> door flew open. <laughs> <laughs> there was seven men bumming seven women on his land. Seven men for seven women. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? I'm a partridge of the pear tree. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. All dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, oh, ignore that. 
Hi ho. What were we celebrate? What were you celebrating, Adam? I just I feel good at the minute. Right. And what? Why? Life's okay. Is there no problems? Any news? What? Any news? Yeah. What is it? Got some good news? It's good news, surely you're celebrating. Oh. I found out my mum's not dead. Oh, oh my god. My god. That is totally brand new information. Oh, thank fuck you know now, because I've been banging her for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Was she with Tupac? <laughs> Was she with Tupac? Tupac's back. As well. He's not dead either. But the main oh. news is that Tupac is my stepdad. <laughs> and your mum's not dead. Oh. Yeah. And we're all going to uh, You'd be annoyed though, wouldn't you? Like, Where have you been? What? Where have you been? I needed some time off. <laughs> With Tupac. You were doing my head in. Do you, know, do you know who else did that? Dirty Den in EastEnders. <laughs> 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 and then when he came back, they killed him and buried him under the Queen Vic. Or did yeah. they? We'll never know. Oh. Come back he can just keep regenerating. <laughs> Dirty Den is like the Doctor Who of EastEnders. I've always said that. Finn, can you get me a Sudafed? <laughs> and I'm not even joking. They're near the microwave. Someone get me a Sudafed. <laughs> microwave Sudafed, then. Take the potency away. I'm a bit worried about Christmas presents for you lot. I'm not feeling it. I haven't I, thought I haven't, about I, it yet. Yeah, I know, but it's time to think, isn't it? Because we're going to do our Christmas do in like three weeks. If you let us down again. <laughs> <laughs> are you a fan of Linda McCartney sausages? <laughs> no. Okay. You know? They are no. great. I am now. That's me new Tuesday meal. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking boss. They might be. They're better than twenty percent or something. The rosemary and thingy one, He's caramelized a, onion. There, the nice one. With six hundred and sixty pound peppercorn sauce. Ooh, lovely. I used to wear uh, <laughs> when I was dieting. I used to eat them because in like two of those sausages, there's like eighty calories. So I'd just have a pack of eight sausages for me too. <laughs> <laughs> so unhealthy. I used to have fourteen apples for me too. You know, healthy, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> we sold the arena, out, didn't we? What? what? We've sold the arena out. Have we? Yes. Yeah. That's what you're celebrating. Yeah, we can talk about it, but like they'll all already, you know, because this doesn't go out till Monday. No, but I know, but it'll just... be all over our social media about it. We've sold the arena out. Isn't that good? <laughs> it's been a. It's out a, of spite. The problem is, the problem is, it's been a very weird selling out model, isn't it? Where we sold five and a half thousand tickets in eight days. And then approximately 62 tickets a week since then. <laughs> so it's been one of the more frustrating sellouts I've ever been involved in. Where you're like, we are going to sell 42,000 tickets. Oh, no, we're not. It's going to be a trickle. But we've sold it out. Sold it out? I feel like we're going to be doing Anfield in three years. Cool. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Or the Rovers return. From before. <laughs> From Corrie. <laughs> With your not dead mum headlining. Here she is. <laughs> Imagine that as a reveal at the at the arena show. Mine and Dan's mum's never been there. We've been joking about it since day one. <laughs> I'm not sure people get it. Oh, are you excited, Dan? We've sold an arena out. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, keep people keep trying it. My sister was like, "Right, are you getting hyped? Are you get are you nervous?" I'm like, "Nope." Feels very yeah. Feels normal, doesn't it? Feel very very normal. Also, I've never seen us prepare for anything like we've prepared. Like my thing with the live shows is always like, cause we turn up here and just go, ah, let's see what happens. We'll just chat shit and it works. We've done that with some of the live shows and it makes me, it gives me twitchy bum. There's absolutely with no this way arena, we're not going to Smithies on the day next week. With, with, <laughs> we are, someone's got to get a horse head. <laughs> oh yeah, there'll be a bit of a hybrid, but I know the amount of preparation we've done for the arena and it makes me very happy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for them to see it. It's so stupid. <laughs> I can't wait to book the musician for the after party. That's going to be good. I'm going to do that today. Who are you thinking? Uh, Bewitched. They're on tour with Blue. Uh, I'm thinking maybe. What's the fella? I know that because we tried to book. <laughs> what's the fella who who sings Hallelujah? The original one, Jeff. Jesus, Jeff Buckley. <laughs> Jeff Buckley. He's been, he's been dead 35 years, but. Jeff yeah. Jesus. Get a hologram. Yeah. Hologram. Like Abba. Oh, I get two pack. Jeff Buckley, two pack. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Buckley, two pack, and Anne Rowe. All coming out. <laughs> Fucking hell. Imagine only what, a what a Christmas special. Paul McCartney's a local lad. I reckon he'd do it, you know. Didn't we try and speak to him once and told him to fuck <laughs> yeah. off? <laughs> yeah. Tried to get him to promote. My old story. agent knows his cousin, 
And in my head, that was a guaranteed in <laughs> to get Paul McCartney on the couch. I, can you imagine how shit that episode would be? Can I you imagine how bad the episode would be if we'd have got Paul McCartney on? I don't think it'd be bad. No, I don't I think, think it'd be bad. I, no, I don't think it'd be good, sorry. I, I think it would be painful. He'd just be sat Homo. there going, oh, well, yeah, 70, back in the 70, 60s, we were the biggest thing on the planet. We were bigger than Jesus. I mean, that's, what John, that's what John said before he died. God bless him. Oh, well, of course, I died first. I'm not Paul McCartney. I'm that other cunt. <laughs> and that's what Paul McCartney would say. <laughs> that's how he breaks the news. <laughs> Poor John. If you're shit, looking man. at old album covers, there's plenty of clues. For example, in one of them, I haven't got any shoes on. In the next that, one, if he says at the top, I am not Paul McCartney. Are they from the Wirral? <laughs> I'm sure you're doing that. That's the Wirral voice. No, no this is by my, South Liverpool. By my oh, is it? I've got me boots, boots and me coat on. I'm Paul McCartney. <laughs> I'm taking me cavapoo for a walk around the block. It's <laughs> <laughs> literally it. Oh, I'll go to Press Bros and get myself. I know, that was what? I'll Press Bros. There you go. And get myself an Americano. Where with does a little he bit live? Of soya. Where and does he farm. live? On Where? a farm. Like, it's Buckinghamshire. Not there. Yeah, it's not around there. They all live in fucking Buckinghamshire, don't they? Can't tell it's you. It's a place what. to be. One town. Is in Buckinghamshire. He lives on a farm somewhere, I'm not sure. He where. Lives in, is it, it Wiltshire? He, he lives near Ormskirk. Does he? Yeah. Apparently he's always at Ormskirk Market on a Sunday. I'm not messing. Lives he in, do, he's he do lives in Sunday. Lancashire. Yeah, he goes to car booth every Sunday. <laughs> Him and Ringo Star. Ormskirk getting another fucking reference out of nowhere. There's no way he goes to car booth sales. He does, that's how he made his money. <laughs> After the money, Sussex. Yeah, that's what they want you to do. Your phone fucking shut up, Dan. What the fuck's going on here? Have you got a Furby? <laughs> oh, look at this. Boo. 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 Put your phone on silent, you. It's share the clip. It's, it was my alarm to share the clip because I kept. But there isn't a clip going out today because the arena's sold out and we're announcing that. Is that so, going out? No. Uh, no, we're, we're, when we have a break, we've got to do it. We've got to make sure it's uh, all ready to go. What are the Central African countries, you know, Dan? <laughs> Chad. Chad, <laughs> yeah. Niger. Niger. Yeah. Yeah. Stop there. Chad's, well, I don't know why Chad always gets, like, always African on. African countries. On my mind. Central African. Rwanda. Oh. Botswana. Nice. Nice. The Central African Republic. Of Congo. Rwanda. That's a good one. Echo. <laughs> Zambia. Oh, Zambia, that's a good one. Angola. Nah. Sounds Spanish. What? Guinea Bissau. Oh, yes, Guinea Bissau. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. <laughs> well, the South Sudan, which is its own country. Uh, and there's the Sudan. Cockney fucking cunt. <sighs> Any, other <laughs> <one>? <laughs> Any other ones? Do we have a break? Do we have a break? Is there a Route 66 of Africa? <laughs> We're just reading African <laughs> Paul McCartney, a shit guest. <laughs> Rwanda, twice. <laughs> what's, the ni- what's the code for Nigerians who's on Robbie Money on the internet? What? What's the code? It's a scam, isn't it? What? There's a Nigerian scam. It is, yeah. <laughs> it's got a number, though. 419. There you go, 419. That's It's route 419. <laughs> oh. That was a joke. I was going for it. I was going to think of the number. <laughs> Fire. Dan, hit that button immediately. <laughs> Break. <laughs> Break. <laughs> Hi, guys. Time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor now. It's manscaped.com. Santa baby, it must be a holiday miracle because the sponsors of today's show, Manscaped, are providing the tools your man needs to stuff all your stockings, if you know what I mean. Mama like that. Cock and pussy. That's right. This holiday season, Manscaped has vowed to make sure your man's tree is standing tall with two presents underneath. I think they mean his balls. Anyway, trust me, ladies, Santa's cookies aren't the only thing you're going to want to get your hands on. You'll also want to touch his cock. Have him join. In the 7 million other sexy lumberjacks who use Manscaped and get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with the code WEIRD20. Oh baby, it's cold outside and you'll feel the cold even more when your balls have got no hair on them. 
It's a really good Christmas present. If you're looking to buy someone a nice gift set, think outside the box and get them a box of Manscaped. I tell you who, who would <laughs> really like to have no pubes. It's Peter. To hey, have work. I've got no pubes, of course. Hey, I you're amazing. Hair, How are you doing there, lad? Tickling you under there. Peter, What's happening? you're so smooth. Do you shave your balls with Manscaped? No, your wife does. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tell you what, Peter's snappy. Manscaped's best-selling product is the Performance Package 4.0, which is at the <laughs> top of every man's wish list this year. You get the lawnmower body trimmer, the, dare I say, best trimmer on the market for balls, back, chest, and the list goes on. There's the weed whacker, which is the ear and nose trimmer. And let's not forget their famous liquid formulations, the crop preserver, the ball deodorants, the ball reviver, ball toner, ball toner. to keep them smelling nice down there. Peter, what do you think? when you're sucking a penis, lovely. you really want it to be floral. So go to manscaped.com <laughs> and use the code WORD20 for 20% off and worldwide shipping. Peter, have you actually got bollocks? Yes, I've got two bollocks on my chin. Nice. Merry Christmas. It's really warm in here. <laughs> You've got a jacket on. It looks very warm, that jacket, though. You look like a docker. I feel like a truck driver from Alabama. Is that what you're wearing? Mm. An Alabama truck driver. Yeah. Have, you seen, have you just got a <laughs> rough idea of what that looks like? You look at me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Birmingham. Um... Alabama. Speed round. Yay! Lee Shaw says, Hi Lids, on some video games, when you complete a game or die, you have a list of stats of your performance, kills or deaths, etc. If, when you die, a game over screen appears, what would you want them to be? Uh, if you could have your stats show. V kills. If you could view any stats from your life, which five stats would you choose? Could be anything. Total number of shits, missed opportunities for sex, number of people you've threatened to murder whilst driving, etc. That's from Lee Shaw. I think my most impressive numbers would be uh, most number of shits is definitely up there. Right. I reckon I might be in the top one percentile of the poos per day. <laughs> Who per day? The PP day. Um, if you die now, you're a young man. I reckon you're going to get out... Out pooed. No, he means as a ratio. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, 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 right. Average yeah. per day. Yeah, average. Yeah, per all right, nice. You, you're not, you know, not clocking totals. I still reckon totals wise. <laughs> I'm up there like a 90 year old man. Adam's out pooing yeah. them. <laughs> I do reckon I out poo most 90 year olds. Oh, you'll catch them up in the last few years when they get all constipated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, wanks, um, Dan? You're just wank, sure. Yeah. I'd like to, yeah. I'd, I think it'd be. A pretty pretty impressive. Jeff, it's over ten thousand. Um, how many? So it's three thousand is ten years, twenty years, six thousand. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon we'd be somewhere between eight and ten thousand. Um, <laughs> it's a miracle my dick is still on my body, isn't it? Like if it just, I, I wouldn't be surprised if one wank. I just, I just went. Oh shit! It's come off. Pulled it off. <laughs> was it? Was it multiple times a day at your peak? At my peak. You still, what does that is it know? still? Ah, I can he still wants in the morning once of a night. No, no, no. That's just that's maybe once a week, that's twice a week. But eh, nearly. Yeah, but like, what was your peak stat like? Four times a day. Yeah, but there's diminishing returns in it when you're on your fourth wank. You're just like, Dust. you're doing it. Yeah. Still now, if I'm hungover, I can hit four, five, six. I know, six, but and that, you jizz every time. Yeah. You must be so dehydrated that day. What you? What do you think happens on this? It still happens. Something happens. No, no, it's not like a fucking water gun. It's just a little cock in it. <laughs> <laughs> By the fifth wank, it just makes a little, it does a little song. Oh. No, but I mean, you're already dehydrated because you're hungover and you're also just expelling jizz six times. Yeah, it's just, you're just like a fucking prawn. I'd love to know my actual room. bonk bonk number. I don't, I lost. <laughs> yeah, I'd I like to know my bonk number. I'd also like to know how many people have admired me. <laughs> In what sense? So yeah. what? What do you like just had any sort of admiration for me at any time? At what sexual or just just anyone who's ever gone? He's good him. Yeah, that. <laughs> what a weird stat. At Twenty seven thousand. He's good. What did you judge that against? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, it's, it's more than that, though, isn't it? Like I've got a special on YouTube that's got like three hundred thousand views. That's probably a hundred thousand viewers, probably because people have probably watch it multiple times. So you're looking hundred thousand viewers, and most of them will have liked it. That's hundred thousand people who've admired me. <laughs> wow. 
Really. No, and that doesn't even go into people who haven't watched it. I think you get a lot of insight into Adam's cut. I just want to know who thought, you're good, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, even though I've never met you and I'm looking at you through the internet, you're good. <laughs> I think you're good. <laughs> what a strange thing. Um, the amount of married women who've lusted for my love. Really? Are you getting a lot of them? It's in the dozens. Well, that's the thing. I don't know, do I? Because they're married. I do. They keep messaging me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, there's, imagine how many there is that really, like there's married women out there who, if you could grant them any wish, it would be, I get to fuck Adam, bro. <laughs> You're their whole pass. You're yeah. their any yeah. wish. Oh. Or Dan Nightingale. The amount of people who aren't messaging you is insane. Right. Like there's so many who are just like, <laughs> there's, there's women out there who are getting fucked by their husbands right now. No. And they're thinking of you. Like, oh, God. I'm a Thursday lunchtime. <laughs> Good for them. <laughs> you I forget like, what time difference. We've got <laughs> listeners all over the world. You are There's Bulgarian time. women getting fucking Bulgarian pounded right now. Time because I'm thinking Bulgarian. of me or you. I'd like to know how many pieces of fruit I bought and didn't eat. Because <laughs> that's got to be in the millions. <laughs> I buy a bunch of bananas every week and I haven't eaten a banana for fucking <laughs> years. Yeah, I'll get some strawberries there. You're oh. in the pocket of big banana there, kid. <laughs> yeah, the amount of fruit I've bought. Are you yet. an aspirational shopper like that? You go, yeah, yeah, we get some fruit. You know, we'll have some fucking fruit bowls. Get a bowl. The next week, you're like, oh, throw that in the bin. It's <laughs> just a rotten bowl I don't do of that fruit. With I do it with clothes, though. I do aspirational clothes buying where I'm like, that is way too tight. But if I really work hard... This time next year, I could fit into that, and I'll buy it. Yours should be how many pairs of jeans you've owned. <laughs> that in the thousands. <laughs> I've owned a lot of jeans. How many bin bags did you just get rid of of clothes when you did you clear three. twenty three bin bags of clothes? All in my defence, all bought within the last things. eighteen months. I'd love to know how many bags of cocaine I've bought. That that'd be interesting. Would you like to know like the, yeah, the weight. kilo? Yeah. I know. Yeah, the how, what, I I, gen, I can't put a because I'm not like crazy. My stats will be like blown away by people with like really bad problems but i it, it, it's so fun i'd also like to know how many like i think you'd be scared i what am i 41 if you saw all the cans of pop you'd ever drunk just yeah, i'd be terrified. actually lined up <laughs> you'd be like oh my god do you reckon you've all... done more than 100 kilos of cocaine <laughs> what no no <laughs> No. I don't reckon he has, no. No. Because, you know, because he's sat there alive. 100,000 grams of coke. <laughs> I don't think I've done a kilo. You don't reckon you've done a kilo? Oh. Dan, do 100 kilos. <laughs> Come on, let's get you've to it. You've definitely done a kilo. You've done a coke. kilo. Come no. on. 1,000 no grams. No. no way. 1,000 grams. <laughs> Easy. Oh, yeah. I reckon you might have done that this That's year. 50... You've definitely done Honestly, a kilo. Honestly, you'd be... What? You've done a kilo. Have you seen I, this? I, I think you'd be surprised. Have you seen this film that's coming out? Cocaine Bear. story, yeah. Yeah, I saw the trailer. Bear. Uh, it, it, it looks like an idea that's got out of hand in the production meeting. Hang and on, like, hang on, scroll back to that. It is inspired by the true story of an American black bear who ingested a duffel bag of cocaine in 1985. And yeah. went on a rampage. <laughs> someone was doing it. Someone basically threw cocaine out into the woods. This this bear found the bag of uh, coke. After all, and then I don't know is it a, is it a thriller or a comedy because it it ke the advert for it came it's a survival on survival horror comedy. Isn't it mad? You can a watch survival. And this is this is Ray Liotta's last film. This is what he died for. Yeah, right. I, I'll be honest. I do want to watch it. Did he kill people? But I'm expecting it to be sh shit. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. He wore that. fucking bowling him. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on. This isn't a serious film because that bear's got an hat on. Doesn't matter how much cocaine you get. Bears can't buy hats. No, that, no that's what cocaine Loads does to bears. bears. And Re little monkeys as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'd watch Cocaine Bear. Yeah. yeah. Would you watch Monkey in a Hat? <laughs> oh, I always think it's so... When you go on holiday and there's, there's, they've got like a little... Like a monkey in a little suit, you're like, oh. <laughs> what? Can't say that anymore? What? <laughs> what do you mean? How often is that happening? When you see a monkey in a suit, you get <laughs> He's sad. He's right. When you go away, there's like little anim animals that are like being. But exploited. why does that make you sad? Because they're being exploited. You can exploit me all you like if you're just going to give me free suits. <laughs> so what? <laughs> really? So is where's, that where's Adam Rowe? He's in Benidorm now. For some a tailor. An aggressive tailor's got him on a chain. <laughs> and Adam Rose dancing for suits. 
You don't even wear suits. Is that, is that, is that, oh, I do wear suits on occasions. Yeah, when he's in Benidorm on the beach <laughs> with the fucking chain round his neck. That monkey doesn't know he's not meant to have a suit on. This is the thing we're exploiting animals that I don't really understand the no, argument he does, of. No. Come on. Talk, talk me through how it's fine to have a little monkey in a suit dancing on Benidorm Beach. He doesn't know he's not meant to have a suit on. I think he's got it. No a monkeys look. had a way with him and gone, by the way, John. <laughs> we don't wear suits. John the monkey. John! John the monkey. What if in a suit also, on? John, your dad's a worm. <laughs> so try harder. Your <laughs> argument for animals being in suits being made to dance is that they don't know any better because they don't talk to other monkeys. <laughs> Like, exactly. The monkey trainers is Benidorm. What's the arm? He just thinks. Oh, he just thinks he looks fucking smarter than all of the monkeys. Because they're all in fucking trackies. <laughs> in trackies. John. The wild monkeys are in trackies. Yeah. Scouse monkeys. Oh, fucking that. And then horses, right? What? <laughs> horses they that race. Running. People think that's cruel. It isn't. No steeplechase. It is. What? Flat running isn't because they love running, don't they? Steeplechasing's the... Why is that a problem? Because they have to jump over like 50 foot walls with people on their backs. So? It hurts. Yeah. yeah. As you know, you never spoke to a horse. <laughs> I've spoken to a horse. <laughs> the horse whisperer. <laughs> like lad. Does that hurt? Like, yeah. <laughs> but it's worth it, I'm isn't it? Like I do stuff that hurts me. When I go to the gym, like when I'm lifting weights, yeah, it yeah. hurts. Yeah, but there's not someone on your but back making cheap... you do it, is there? There is, I've got a personal trainer. Maybe you've paid for them. Yeah. Those horses get looked after. <laughs> and yet they're in a bit of pain, but they get to become champions. <sighs> yeah. yeah. But they don't know they're champions, do they? I they fucking do. I said They get a feeling. <laughs> oh, something going on here. Everyone's just cheering me name. I must be a champion, and I'm aware of what the concept <laughs> of Adam is. Being a horse. <laughs> yeah, they're fine as long as they don't talk to wild horses. <laughs> Lad, you could just be roaming free. <laughs> Fuck. In a trackie. Is yeah. there wild horses anywhere? Yeah. yeah. Where? Where are all the horses? Wow. <laughs> Plus high peas. <laughs> no, but like... I know the Osmonds. North America used to have wild horses, isn't it? Where are they now? I don't know. I think they're you go with all, all the wild horses. <laughs> wild horses. Yeah, I don't think there's any such thing as wild horses. There is? Fuck off. Are there still wild? Oh, watching Finn type is so painful. It is... They're exterminated and domesticated <laughs> by our ancestors. <laughs> there are still millions of horses around, but there's no wild ones left. See, Aww. no such thing as wild horses. So they don't. Oh, Scotland, not, so they didn't want Scotland, it enough. They've got some in Scotland and in Portugal. Some feral herds. There you go. Portuguese. I mean, if you're a horse, who's in you know. Scotland over yeah. Portugal? There, go to Portugal. <laughs> yeah. I like they get a choice. <laughs> Right, <laughs> Bobo the horse, you're about to go wild. Do you want to go Portugal, Scotland? <laughs> Fucking, I'm not going abroad. I'm staying down in Glasgow. Nay. Glasgow as well. Fucking nay, by the way. <laughs> wild horse, the wild oh, horse yeah. in Glasgow. City You've got to be really careful. On Buchanan Street, it's a fucking nightmare. Socky Hill Street. <laughs> Fuck off. What were we talking about? I can't remember what we were talking about. What were we talking Monkeys about? in suits. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was Adam saying it's not cruel because they don't know any better. It, it isn't cruel, oh, it's so happy. Awful. What are you talking doing about? Doing our stats. It's just. So oh, you're doing our stats. We're doing our stats. <laughs> so sad. The amount of wild horses I've come across in my life. How many wild horses have you been mugged by on Soggy Hull Street in Glasgow? Fuck it. I wow. seen a thing the other day from Peter. You know, the, the animal me. rights company. <laughs> the Not animal the rights company. That PLC. <laughs> yeah. Foot. <laughs> Limited. Go on. Do you know Peter are apparently bastards? We'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, they were like whinging as they are one to do. About these monkeys who are trained to get coconuts out of trees. For who? For farmers. The coconut farmers? Yeah. Of Glasgow? <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. I think it's Thailand. Portugal. Thailand. Genuinely. Like, they train the monkeys to get the coconuts out of trees, and right. people are like, this needs to stop. They're basically working for free. But the monkeys don't know they're working. They don't understand the concept of work. They just know that they go up the tree to get the coconut, and they get a bit of chocolate off their owner. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> go on. Peter, I am a sucker Peter, for chocolate. Trying, Peter trying to get the coconut monkeys on minimum wage. <laughs> they haven't even got dental. Do you know what I think's mad? That some dogs have got a job. Yeah, guide dogs. Yeah. Police dogs. Yeah. I mean, animals. Guard dogs. Exactly. Animals. Have... But they've got jobs. They didn't sign up for it. No. That's forced labour. Yeah. 
Oh, Same my. as the monkey and the horses, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Peter. Just saying. Some dogs have got jobs and some people haven't. It's mad, isn't it? People invented jobs, though. Are you saying there'd be less unemployment <laughs> if blind people had <laughs> unemployed people as their guide people? Yeah. The yeah. communication would be easier. Be a guide person. Yeah, there'd be less, like, training. Take me the Asda. All right. <laughs> Do I have to wear the collar? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the human no, I'm sniffing saying. people at the airport. Snooks. Got one here. Loads of crack on oh, this guy. 100 kilos with him. <laughs> oh no, Jean Paul Gaultier. <laughs> <laughs> Something's off. No, but dogs have got jobs and they don't want the jobs. Right, so give the jobs to humans. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Shit. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> You'd be mad that unemployed dude running around fields trying to chase sheep. Come by. <laughs> it's a f- guy called Brian. Exactly. The sheepdog just wants to go home. You're making him fucking run after sheep. Yeah, but then you've got unemployed dogs. Yeah, you've not thought about that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Dog doll. Dog doll. <laughs> Chad. It's a new cartoon. It's the CBBS. <laughs> Dog doll. Bob doll. The Congo. <laughs> <laughs> that was special. <laughs> <laughs> What's next in the speed round, Dan? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Shall we? Um, oh, we've got a question. With, oh, that's why Orm Skirt was in my head. Uh, Liam Dickinson says There used to be an eight year old man in Orm Skirt who travelled everywhere by roller skates. He was eventually banned from the town for whizzing about too much. Is it Paul McCartney? Yeah. <laughs> That's how he died. Oh, I've got me boots with me wheels on. Would you rather have permanent roller skates on your feet or travel exactly half of every journey you make via unicycle? Um, well, well, Liam, I hope you're enjoying. I hope Either you're enjoying I've always have roller blades on or roller skates. They're two different things. Or travel halfway to every journey on a unicycle. Um, I'll go. Um, I'll go roller skates permanently. Thank you, because I am going to Nashville in April, and I don't want to do half the journey on a unicycle. <laughs> what, about in the sh- what about when you get in the shower? Though? What? What about in the shower? Um, yeah, it's gonna be. There's gonna be a few bruises initially. Yeah. Is it? Uh, literally. So the plane, you'd have to do half of it on a unicycle. But can't you just do the unicycle on the plane? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. For half a journey, you're riding up and down and playing on a unicycle. Yeah. <laughs> Take your seat. <laughs> Liam Dickinson says I can't. <laughs> What's this? It's that's an auntie at a wedding. <laughs> that's, a un- that's a pretty good impression of someone on a unicycle. That's fucking Woe Black Betty. <laughs> Whoa, Betty. What? <laughs> Do an impression. Oh, my big <laughs> milky bond. <laughs> <laughs> Going no. low, go down in Acapulco. <laughs> you stay too long. It's a really good impression of someone on a unicycle. A ship called Dignity. <laughs> a sailor up the west coast. To the villages and town. <laughs> on my holidays. They'll be doing the rounds. They'll ask me. I can't say. I save my money. They'll say is she pretty? That's cold. <laughs> I mean, it's like when you've got a ring. <laughs> you know, uh, really bad at your ass. Fucking soft party song, is it? What? <laughs> can, I, can I? Can I see your impression of someone on the unicycle? <laughs> That's a belly dancer. What a slag! Shaking your tits. Um, I go roller skates <laughs> permanently, and um, yeah, sounds awful. Shall we do some advice? Uh, I'll say yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Here to help. I'll solve your problems. I'll tell you the best thing to do. If you do, you'll be fine. If you don't, you might do time. Boo. Agony Adam. By the way, next week at the arena, I want you to sing. Everyone's singing these. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're going to sing. I want you to all sing different songs at the same time. Have but also, a good gig, no chance. Adam. No chance. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, Adam. Have a lovely time. We're all here to support you. Go on, Adam. Go on, Adam. We very funny. I want everyone shouting out Coronation Street episodes, like famous episodes. 
famous episode. The tram crash. <laughs> Dev Alatan fingering Deirdre in the ass. That Same episode. episode. <laughs> There's been a tram crash. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's how I deal with my grief. Should we go and help the survivors? Nah, nah, Dev. Finger my asshole. You want a unicycle, Deirdre? No, I'm just trying to get right on that finger. Backing it up. Who's like asking a- anyone <laughs> if they're on a unicycle? Who can't... Who- <laughs> <laughs> Who's not sure if someone's on a unicycle behind the colonial? Yeah. <laughs> Obstructed view. Yeah. Shout out famous Connie. Connie episode. Oh, please don't. <laughs> Just shout out your favourite Af- Central African nations. <laughs> and pronou- <laughs> hey, and pronounce them right. Chad. I've laughed so far, though. So oh, understand. God. Um, Adam Burnett says alright lids got engaged to my soon to be wife recently and have been struggling to choose my best man my actual best mate is a girl I've known for years and I've always told her it would be her we've been on holidays countless times each of us have been through relationships and we're both aware nothing would ever happen with us I don't know how um, how my soon to be wife would react with the idea of this should I go for what I'd like for my perfect wedding or should I choose one of the lads for an easy life cheers boys all the best that's from Adam Burnett. I think you're in love with this girl. And you should leave your soon-to-be wife and give love a chance. Yeah, fuck off love to give love a chance. The wrong love, though, innit? No, I've got... The, the one he's it would have happened by now. He's not. He's just a mates with her, isn't he? You've got female mates. Yeah. Not not ones... No. No? Not really. Not ones that aren't, like, colleagues, like comedians. Yeah. Well... Yeah. We went to an old boys' school where we get girlfriends. But just life, innit? No, like I've colleagues, got, I've like got female mates. Yeah, have they all start, mean? Have they all started as work, like as in like no. comics? No, we haven't That's got any. Why I've got female friends. Yeah, but I want to fuck all of them. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked all my female friends w- once. Obviously, you go. Ah, that was rubbish. <laughs> that was rubbish. You didn't even finger my ass off. <laughs> Give me the old Deirdre Rashid um, <laughs> or Bala. <laughs> No, I listen, mate. <laughs> you cut. <sighs> I think you need to. I think you need to have a group of best men and then slide Barbara in. <laughs> Can't just have a female best man. Why? Why? Didn't you have a female best man? Yeah, one of four. I would you have four best men. I had three best men and a best woman, but Kate John basically asked to be my best man. I think she just wanted to be like, ah, I've been a best man. I had, no, loads, if, I had loads of groomsmen and best men. If um, you had loads of groomsmen and best men, so you had more than one best man, I'd, but still had groomsmen. I had th- th- uh, my three best mates from school. Uh, uh, two best mates, uh, Sean and Bondi were my best uh, best men. Matthew was my best man. He did speech. Kate John was the best woman. Uh, they're all just like and then I had groomsmen and groomsmen. women. I just had all my favourite people as like part of my wedding party. You can do what you want. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. It only matters if your missus is like, who the fuck is this? I, I would suggest that if you've got to this point, how is the person you're marrying not already mates with this girl? Yeah. Like yeah. if she is genuinely your best mate and you're marrying some some lady, they should be best mates by now. Otherwise, it's always going to cause friction. Laura fucking loves all of my female friends. Of course she does because they're all, she likes all my friends. As soon as there's a tension because you're like, who's this? A co- like that's going to cause problems, isn't it? Because then you haven't integrated everyone into into the, each other's lives properly. Yeah. What have you done wrong there, mate? I think he's. I th- that's why I'm sort of side with what Adam said initially. Something feels a bit like yeah, detached she, she about this. She sounds audible. Fuck his yeah. wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she sounds like she's. Not she sounds like trouble. She sounds like she's gonna. It sounds like she's cheating on him. If I if I if I was gonna say anything, yeah, I don't want to say it. But. That was literally every have a word or bit of advice for ages. Yeah, don't trust her. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's recovering from the grief of losing both her parents. Yeah, did she kill them? <laughs> um, Dom Summers says, Wag wag lids, I need some advice here. So long story short, me and my missus of seven years have just moved out and bought our own place, which is great. Until I find out 
Oh dear. Until I found out she's been sending pictures and vids of herself getting off to a bloke who I thought was just a pal from work. That's wild. What a seven year old. She is. <laughs> <laughs> From work, where she works, that's a legal labour. She again. has expressed her sorrow for it and made it. Um, uh, at least she's. Oh, sorry, and Start made again. it for its. Oh, Jesus Christ! He's moved out with his partner of seven Bob. years. He's got a house, and yeah. he's found out she's been sending titty and arsehole videos to people who she works with. Right, it's okay. Yeah. So again, it's the woman cheating. So she's expressed her sorrow and told me she stopped talking to him. I know it's a bit sly, this next bit, but I went through her phone a few days ago and found out not only is she still chatting to him oh, after no. she said she won't be, but she sent more pictures. Push it down the stairs. As you would imagine, I went off my head uh, <laughs> shouting and shit. We are still together, wow. but I just don't know how to deal with it. She's told me for definite she stopped talking to him. But I just don't know how to go about it all. Need some advice, Lids. Much love. Dom. Dom, come on, mate. Whatever just you're doing, Dom, your is pushing her to behave like this. This is your me. fault. Yeah. What have you done to make her want to look elsewhere? Dom, read your badly written email again. Not that middle bit, because it's absolutely ined inedible. Inedible. <laughs> Damn, I am. I'm gagging on it. <laughs> I can't, no. Dom. Just no. I she gotta oh, go. She yeah. gotta go. She gotta go. She yeah. Fuck her right off. Do you know what? No. Is she fit though? No, what you should absolutely do here is stay in the relationship with this woman, but then just do whatever you want. And then you've got the comfort and safety of someone at home, but you can live guilt free and fuck whoever you like forever. That sounds like some I know. Wow. That sounds absolutely bleak. Yeah. You can just, you can control her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, she like. sounds like she sounds really yeah. controlled. She, she she, she yeah, can yeah. live an apology for the rest of time. Yeah, she's while sending, you go out gallivanting. She's she spent she's sending wanking vids to all the people at work, and she works at a garage. <laughs> but I'm controlling her. He should send his cock to every female in her family. Yeah. Not a picture of it. <laughs> what on a it. what a great way of getting on. Cut the your dick off on the sex <laughs> male individual. Has your niece got a phone? Nice one. <laughs> no, they're going to be of legal age. Yeah. Um, Dom, fuck her off. Say something audible to her first as well. She's she so said bad. she's not doing it anymore. So yeah, she, she lied. Did, she said didn't it. she? She said it. So she did. Maybe. Oh, she said that, didn't she, Finn? She did. Can Ask we see her the videos? To rim, yeah. And while her tongue is up your ass, break up with her. While her tongue is up your ass, do a shit. Poo. No, Finn. Poo on her face. No, don't poo on anyone. <laughs> what if she wants it? What? Don't give it to her. She definitely doesn't get it. Oh man. Um, yeah. clench. So you've got hold of her in a grip. <laughs> got and your then nose. break up with her. Yeah. She's trying to leave. Her. Ah, you're like, you bitch. <laughs> you do that. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, producers desk. You're coming in with some <laughs> really good of a shit on her. <laughs> Fucking hell, lads. <laughs> One more, Anonymous. Please keep my name Anon as my friend listens to the pod. Hey, Lids, the other day I met up with my... Oh, sorry. Slowly remove all of her possessions one by one from the house. And then one day when she turns up, have the locks changed. And then tell her she's never lived there and she's lost her mind. Yes. Yeah. Put cod liver oil tablets in an exhaust pipe. And then over time, it'll start to melt and create black smoke. And she'll think there's a problem in her car. There isn't. It's the cod liver oil. Cool. Or poo on her. <laughs> um, one more anonymous. Please keep my name anonymous as my friend listens to the pod. Hey, Lids, the other day I met with my best friend's little sister. Oh, oh no. Jesus. Oh, that sounds fit. I was in the city and had nothing else to do. Before you start calling me anonymous, she is only a year younger than us. It started off as an innocent drink, but then one thing led okay. to the another and we ended up sleeping together. Yes. I'm feeling guilty, but I've always fancied her and we get along really well, so maybe it's not a bad thing. The question is, do I need to tell my best friend or is ignorance bliss in this situation? Thanks, guys. Love the pod. You need to tell him, but you don't non. need his approval. Yeah. You can show him. Yeah. Well, maybe don't tell him unless things are getting serious. Yeah. But I'd sit the f I'd sit on this yeah. until you absolutely don't need to. And then whenever it's getting serious, invite him around to yours. Don't tell her he's coming and just start fucking and have him walk in and just be like <laughs> Now you know. Surprise. Now you know. <laughs> That's how you bait the dude. Close the door. <laughs> yeah, make it look like an accident. And then when he's like, why did you invite me around if you were doing this? Like, I never. I and forgot. then the messages. 
gaslighting everyone. What do you mean? <laughs> you live here in your house and then just shag your sister there. Yeah. Would you just keep quiet, Finn? Um, Would you just keep this on the down there? Yeah. Until if it if it was going to be something serious, then you tell people. I think. Or wait until remember, you're having an argument with him. If wait I until ever, you just fall out. Yeah. Make love to your sister. Wait until you just fall out. And then one point when he's like, you're the fucking gobshed of always just go, smell your sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Lord. <laughs> Get on that there, lad. Yeah. Or wait for Christmas, because you probably shared it together. And then go past the sprout there and get your tits out. <laughs> when he's like, what? <laughs> Why did you just say get your tits out? Like, oh, we've been fucking for months. Carl's gone insane. <laughs> I think we're all hungry. Just shh. <laughs> no, no. Get him round and shoot him in the head with a gun. <laughs> get a chicken katsu curry and he just eat it. Shit on him. So I hope you enjoyed it. that advice. <laughs> I really, I think we helped you out a lot there. Hey, the guy who's coming up next also sold his local arena out. Cool. <laughs> Jamie, Web cool. Jamie Webster? Yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. Just saying. Smooth. We've all got something in common. Cool. No. Jamie Webster coming up. Get on me. Hey, guys. <laughs> time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's Stitch Fix. Dan, I'm well aware of what Stitch Fix is. I don't know why, what you're going to tell me during this advert because I already know everything. Yeah, but you're always complaining about walking. You're like, oh, I hate walking to I shops. I like slithering. Stuff. I tell you who else likes Slytherin. It's yes. Peter. The have a word snake. Hello. Peter, I, do you buy your own clothes? No, I'm a, I'm a reptile. <laughs> I actually shed my skin and I don't require clothes. Well, that's great. But if you were a human, yes. you could go to stitchfix.co.uk slash word. What you do is you set up a profile and Stitchfix works like an online personal shopper. They know your size, the type of stuff you like, and they send you a load of stuff to your house, right? Clothes and that. And yeah. if you like them, you keep them. If you don't, you send them back. If you keep all five items that they send you, you get 20% off. 20? Fucking hell, mate. I know. It's mad, isn't it? That's it's heavy. fantastic. So if you are a human watching this and you're not a reptile, a snake, or some other form of animal who doesn't wear clothes, go to stitchfix.co.uk forward slash word and get 20% off when you keep all five items. That's stitchfix.co.uk forward slash word. Isn't that right, Peter? Yes. Slytherin. Here we go. Episode 3542. Jamie Webster's back. Hey. Hey. I'm all right to piss myself, though. <laughs> yeah. Hey. yeah. No, you I got didn't. excited. This is the first time you've yeah. seen the new studio. No, I knocked it? one of the, the, the... This is a fucked studio, by the way. Amazing. I knocked one of the... You knocked, you knocked the gonk over. I think I he's knocked, called a gonk. Oh, sorry, gonk. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Knocked the gonk over. Oh, gonk, yeah. In, in doing so to try and salvage it, that sort of happened. <laughs> <laughs> It's explained in picture form now, so we're over it. Yeah, got another gonk here. Is um, it called a gonk? It sounds like a bad word. Yeah. <laughs> it like sounds slur. like a bad word for I what? Know, I like know a slur. He uses yeah. gonk as like an insult. And I'm yeah. Like that, but it's like he's it's right. a very good insult though, he's is right. it? He's right. It's called it? a gonk. Of course he's but right. If, he bought it. Yeah, but if someone called me a gonk, like I'd be like, <laughs> It's more our ass on you that you've just used that. <laughs> sounds but racist. Like, but I, I do know someone on, at the match who calls people like, I think he gets overexcited and you fucking gonk. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, lads. Because it sounds like honky. Gonky? Yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> is there, any, we've is there any insults <laughs> that are like local to Preston? Uh, Someone said you were from Clitheroe or something like that. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that would sneakily be a fucking absolutely yeah. horrific thing to say. Someone, yeah. when he's from, from yeah. Clitheroe. Well, that's why I know you're from a small town, and if you're offended when someone goes, "Are you from Blackburn?" They're like, oh, "Who gives a fuck?" Um, I don't know. No, it's just general northern, just general north. I know Liverpool's got a whole fucking book of them. I'm sure. Yeah, but I can't think of any specific Preston ones. Like if, if let's for example, if if someone uh, stole something off you in school, or like no, if someone um, <laughs> if someone <laughs> ate your last chewy, Ooh. right? Ooh. So you, you give him a pack of three chewies because that's for the chewy. So you're like, he's gonna take one, maybe two, and there'll be one left later. He's put all three in his mouth. That's a war crime. Yeah, I mean, well, what would you what would you have called him? A fucking thieving cunt. <laughs> That's all. In year nine. <laughs> Mega Joe. He's got three chewies in his mouth. <laughs> Chanel, mate. Mate, if, if you take the three chewies at the end of a, a pack of chewing gum, yeah. you're a fucking sex criminal. Yeah. Sex criminal? In it. 
That is against the rules. I don't know. Th- th- is there three in that? Because if there is, I'm going to be two. Amazed. There's two. two. You're going to be amazed. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! This thing. Um, Why, is there a specific one for Liverpool for that? What for it? Yeah. We call them. Um, <laughs> what do we call them, Jay? <laughs> Hang on, what mean, do you say? Show the graphics. Yeah, no, that's if someone's a minge bag, they get called a door engine. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know, you'd just call him a rat, wouldn't you? Yeah, a You're rat a or a big willy you. wally. Oh, that's what we would say. Willy Wally, yeah. Does anyone ever does that yeah, to you in Liverpool? Sh- Cold vibes. Yeah, <laughs> a, bi- a big Willy Wally, big and you'll you'll sound so cool. I love it how you guys teach me about scouse culture so that I can look after myself on the mean streets of fucking yeah, Liverpool. It's jazzy, isn't it? Someone steps to me, I'll go whoa! Don't treat me like a big Willy Wally. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking gonk. <laughs> Let's be like Joe Taito is. What? Do you know who Taito is? I know Taito. It sounds like. Have a you sp- have you ever like worked with him? No, no. Who's Good ta- chat, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Taito? He you don't know like who Taito a, is. He sounds like a Scouse wrestler. You don't know who Nice One Si is. <laughs> nice One Si. Nah, yes, yeah, Sharon. There, there, there came a point where <laughs> he was he, he, he was nearly working, not with me but close to me. Yeah. But it didn't come about. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I've got nothing against the lad as a person. Do you know what I mean? Hang on, like, we need more. Co- Would you pull that mic towards you a little bit? <laughs> what? Ha- who, are we, who are we talking about? So we're so talking about Anthony Tito, Tito Russell. <laughs> the lad's name is Anthony Russell. He was on X Factor twice, three times, three I think. times. Oh yeah, twice as an adult, but he he went on as a kid. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, we yeah, wa- yeah. Did we watch it? And he, he, he said, uh, he, he said, my name's Tito Man because when I was in little school, I was dead tight with me sweets, and then he 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 sang "Fly Me to the Moon." <laughs> And Simon Carl said he was shite and he needed singing lessons. <laughs> and he <laughs> stares at him for four seconds and goes, Nice one, say. Nice one, say. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Sharon goes like he's going, she goes, he goes, yes, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there he is. Stuck to it, there he was. But, uh, yeah. I mean, look, I, I'm... I, I've got nothing against anyone from Bootle who's you know knocking around with Louis Tomlinson and tra- <laughs> trying, to, yeah. trying, to, trying to make something of themselves. I think it's a quite yeah. an inspiring story. Um, but yeah. Didn't he get to, didn't he get to the live shows the last time? Yeah, he, tried? he don't. He's got a voice and an half on him, lad. Like, make no mistake. But the problem is, he's, for himself, he became a bit of a meme. Yeah. Didn't he? Do you know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? In Liverpool, did. and it's like once you become a meme, he was the original meme, wasn't he? Exactly. It was probably the so, first meme ever because like, that was so that went round every school in Liverpool. Lad. The Taito thing. Yeah. Nice one, say. Nice one. Yeah, and I just think once once you that, say it to your teacher, oh, we're gonna have a fucking half day today. Nice one, say. <laughs> But it was quite, it was a thing. And I think like, f- for the light, and I'm, like, you know, for someone who's got such a great voice, it's probably that ethos of his character where everyone, you know, thinks it's a bit of a joke, but. Yeah, it's real. Like, it's real. And like, and like, it's, it's, I don't think it's fair, me as well, because he's a well better singer than me. Like, he's well like, better. His like voice a, is like fucking boss. He's like a crooner, isn't he? It's that like, kind of voice, isn't it? His voice is like. Yeah, but if you go on like, them fucking game show, TV shows, you always run the risk of. It's just not exactly, cool, yeah, is it? Yeah, and then there's the a chance, chance and you're going to become a meme. And he was on, that, he was on game shows as well. Oh. He went on strike it, lucky. Do you think you've yeah. done well on it? He won. I, I always added it like, I was always anti like game show for, for singers. Do you know what I mean? People used to go, when I'd be playing in the pubs in Liverpool before, like, you know, before all this, and people would go, you should go on X Factor. Like every night, every <laughs> Friday night, I'd walk off the stage in the slaughterhouse and people would be like, you go on X Factor, you and I'd be like, nah, X Factor's a fucking corporate fucking, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'd just get lost in it and like, you know, look, X Factor's fixed anyway. Do you know what I mean? These people who go on to X Factor at the time, they've all got agents, they've all got management, yeah, yeah. they've all been t- tipped to go on these things. Do you Same know what with Britain's Got Talent. I've yeah. been approached to do that for years, so is that every comedian gets asked every year. Exactly. Via their management. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Because exactly. they want, because to make a TV show, as you know, you need to put people on there who actually have talent. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So you need to find these people. You can't just have open auditions yeah, in case exactly. a load of lunatics yeah, turn well, up. But is... they also want to choose someone up and spit them out. That's the risk, isn't it? Of course. Because the TV producers know what makes good telly. Someone yeah. having a fucking meltdown or going uber scouse as an 11-year-old makes for good telly, doesn't it? Yeah. You're not, they're, not, they're not just trying to lift everyone up. That's why I don't trust those TV shows because you're like, you could be the cunt that get that gets made a fucking... Yeah, well, funny enough, I know a fella who well on, like, the producer, he produced my second album in that Welsh farm that we talked about on our yeah, last yeah. podcast. And um, he, he went on this game, sh- this, this, like, one of them shows in LA. James Corden was hosting it and he was like a judge on this wall of about 100 people. So this lad gets up from 
Kazakhstan or something like that, or Uzbekistan or one of them. <laughs> one, of the one of the stands, yeah. Stands. yeah, yeah. And like he <laughs> sings, he sings in six different octaves in one song, which like for anyone, like basically, uh, that's an octave, uh, that's an octave, uh, 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 and he does six of them. Do you know what I mean? Like all the way, obviously much better than that. <laughs> and like, but it was you no, know, even me, I'm sat there watching it. Like, yeah, I mean, the kids obviously got a massive voice, but. What he's singing, he's doing fuck all for me. I'm not enjoying this. So it's actually a clip on YouTube, and there's 100 judges, and every other judge votes for him, but two of the judges turn the lights off. Do you know, it's like 100 yeah. judges. Like 100. Take me out, it's like take me out, but with talent and judges. Right, okay. But there's 100, you know what I mean? Instead of 25 girls, there's 100 people on this wall in these little booths, and they press the buttons on, on and off if they like the act. So James Corden goes to <coughs> Dave. My producer, Dave Edinger, and it's like, he's produced platinum records, do you know what I mean? Like, he's done everything with the Manic Street Preachers from the ground up. He's worked with Tom Jones, he's worked with Kylie, he's worked with fucking everyone. He knows what he's talking about, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So they're like, well, you're a producer, this kid's just sang this. Yeah, yeah. Why have you turned your light off? And Dave goes, quite bravely and honestly, just because you can doesn't mean that he should, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I thought, fair play. But and then I thought he was going to, and he was like, look, no, I'm not taking nothing away from his talent, but, you know, the song Yeah, my favourite ones on the talent shows, though, is when... He got shamed. He got Game of Thrones on the telly. No, and James <laughs> Gordon just points at him and goes, shame, shame. <laughs> Next thing, all the other judges, the whole fucking cast, the whole audience... They're all shaming this fella. And like, I thought he was, you know, trying to be honest and try and do yeah, parts. It sounds like a party trick it's more a than a song, yeah. doesn't it? It's a gimmick. Yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? And it was like a hundred judges. Yeah. Fuck me. I, the dressing rooms of that show must be a <laughs> fucking nightmare. Yeah. Imagine that. But that's television, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I they're my favourite ones on, like Britain's Got Talent and stuff. As and when I watch it is when someone has got an undeniable talent that they can do absolutely fuck all with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, they're just the best, like, they're the best ones. When someone goes on and is like, I can juggle 18 things at once. It's like, wow. go on then. Cool. And yeah. he does it, it's like, and what do you want us to do with yeah. this? But the, you, want to, you want to do your own traveling yeah. show? Oh my God. Your makes, life just peaked. Yeah, well, what makes me laugh about the Britain's Got Talent thing? Weren't they supposed to be performing for the Queen? Isn't that like the, the Royal, yeah, Royal Variety? Royal Variety, Yeah. yeah. So what the fuck does the Queen want with the juggler? Do you know what I mean? It's not like, so it's not true. Henry VIII days. We, we don't have jesters anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, why does she want to see a juggler? Like, likewise, why would she want to see an Uzbekistani kid singing fucking six different octaves? When that diversity you know dance group won it, I'd, good point. Like, I'd love <laughs> to see, see, see any of it anymore. Point. Obviously, it's a son who's going to be involved, but... Sorry. <laughs> Charles <laughs> loves jugglers. He loves jugglers. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he's <laughs> mesmerised because he can't do it because he's <laughs> fat fucking <laughs> Oh, imagine the dexterity. Oh my god. <laughs> Charles can't juggle one thing. No, <laughs> oh my god. Charles <laughs> can't use a fucking phone. Oh, <laughs> man. They're full on fucking Frank Faces, aren't oh they, lad? It's horrible. just like oh. horrible. Sorry, I've been interrupting you for about a minute and a half. You're here to talk. So, you, uh, TV wise, is there anything you would want to do? Or are you. Because I feel like yeah. you have, have developed this fucking. Massive following, s selling out arenas without having to suck on that corporate. No, dirk. yeah, I'd probably not only selling out arenas. He's now selling out outside. Yeah, I'm selling out. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're gonna have to make that sound better. <laughs> yeah, you, so he's doing my uh, my nan's patio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's doing really well. He's doing yeah. outside. Yeah. He's yeah. Doing outside. What's what I mean? That's, well, that, that's the next step from an no, arena, it is, isn't yeah. it? Is yeah. outside. Yeah. No, it's been great. I think if I wanted to go on the telly, I'd love to go on shooting like I'm a celeb, donate the money to charity, and then terrorize everyone. <laughs> or Love Island, get me on Love Island. I'm not gonna get a beer because I'm in. I've got to get married in a year. You know what I mean? But <laughs> put me on Love Island just to fuck shit up. Do you know what I mean? Just I be would like, love to be there like when you try and convince Rachel that that's a good that idea. Is the most fucking superficial, fucking pretentious thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Why have you just said that, mate? Do you know what I mean? And just so, but like d delve into it and be like, well, what what does that make you feel like? Does that make your cock grow? <laughs> no. So 
So why? Do you know what I mean? And well, then can like, we have Scouse Love Island? Yeah, no, just I would me. Just I love just go funny on and Love fucking Island. leather everyone. Just <laughs> and I'd love it. You're at Bellend. <laughs> you're, you are also a Bellend. Do you know what I mean? Scouse you're not even that nice looking. Do you know what I mean? It's just them fake tits and that fucking fake forehead, which is probably and probably you look a bit like a slag. So that's why you've got on telly because they think you're gonna shag. Do you know what I mean? And I'd just do that and just terrorise them all. I'd love to meet. Put me and Paddy on there. Together. What a slam that in, is. In Hey girl, you've had your forehead done. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's is that a new thing? Mean. Is that a new thing? Oh, it's a Oh, oh the sorry. Old, but some women are getting them extended. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's my time to shine. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I'm beautiful. Yeah, like not not in, not in a nasty way. Like, but these girls, not in a nasty way. But like, not in a nasty way. Well, no, you don't tell me because you look like a bit of a slag. Was very don't nasty. take that personally. It was very nasty. But it's true. Do you think that they don't tell you because the fucking unbelievable human beings and it's not it's like you fit the fucking bill you're probably gonna cry about 10 times in in, in 10 weeks <laughs> and that's what that's uh, and that seems to be the ethos with, with love island just put girls on telly so they can cry about boys do you yeah. know what i mean and it's like well that's someone's daughter that you know in a nicer way yeah. that's someone's daughter that's someone's fucking sister that's some i hope it's not someone's mum but uh <laughs> You know, like with a big forehead. Yeah, have a bit single more parent Love yourself, Island. You know what I mean? Like, oh. have a bit more self respect for yourself and for, for, for women in general. Divorcee you know I mean? Love don't Island. Go on this. Second Love Island. Second, Second Love Island. You went to oh, my yeah. school, didn't you? Lad, only just second. You want to stay in it? Jamie's in the world as well. I know him. <laughs> you went to my school, Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, Liverpool. Such a. How are we, Stephen? Lad, you all right? Yeah, 18, eh? 18, eh? Podcast, boys, like, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's mad because I was I like, the last time well. I'd done it with Carl, I was yeah. like, hang on, you're my mate's mate. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And, and, and like, you've been in the same house that I've been in, but we didn't know each other, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He says how small the pool is. It is, it is, see? It's look, just every this time. is further proof, Stephen, man. Oh, Steve? Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's my brother-in-law. <laughs> Jamie's been here for nearly an hour. Like me, though, didn't you? You still have short hair, didn't you? Yeah, you still have skinny. Like me, that's why I didn't recognise you, lads. You know what I mean? Look how we've grown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jamie looks at himself every morning and he's like, oh no, no, no. Got one I went to school with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were in my form, you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I really want to work on this uh, second Love Island TV show. So it's for single parents. So they've all got kids and they're all either widows or widowers. So they're not just divorced. Oh, no, not it's the de- it's, it's people who've lost. No. But then they can all bond over their loss. Oh, no. They have to be widows or widowers. Yeah. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh, but also, they have to have lost them within the last six months. Oh, 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 and it has to be a violent crime. <laughs> <laughs> fucking oh. bastards. <laughs> Don't know what instigated that. Murder Island. <laughs> 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 Partners being Murder Island. <laughs> Who's that other one? No, I mean, I mean, they're not. I, I don't think part of the criteria is you'd have to be a widower. But there was like <laughs> that know. weird. Can, can't you remember the one that they all went to a house and like Wayne Lineker was on it? Did you see that? Wow. <laughs> he shouldn't be allowed. He shouldn't be. He shouldn't be allowed. Like, but basically, it was like they put celebrities. Me and you would probably get on it. <laughs> but, uh, they put like celebrities in this house with non celebrities and they basically couple up. Oh my celebs god. Celebs go dating. Celebs go dating, it must be. But yeah, is Wayne that- Lineker like the shitty British version of fucking look, Epstein? But look at this, yeah. like this is this is basically what you, you were describing, Adam. In that photo there. What a knife. <laughs> that one, that's basically the show that you just described, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know how, what I mean? How did your man die? You can't die? call Wayne Lineker the British Epstein, by the way. He's not as bad as Jeffrey Epstein. He's just a bit of a creepy noncy guy. Yeah, he's just oh, a no, yeah, he's the British Epstein, yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't live in Britain anymore. He's permanently in Ibiza. Ibiza yeah. What, yeah, he's on yeah. an island? Oh, yeah, there's no... <laughs> oh, God, I, I see no parallels. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I was on about, guys. Have you ever seen Marry the First Sight? Me, me and Sarah yeah. Blitz there. Fuck no. me. Like, you meet someone for the first time at the altar and get married. Oh, no, that's just... And then the up, experiment really. is whether you can stay together at the end of it. And the answer is no, all of the time. <laughs> no. The one we watched, uh, two, <laughs> no, two couples No, me and my together. missus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, two couples stayed together. Apparently, I watched, they're like scientifically matched. I watched Love on the Spectrum for the first time last week. Oh, jeez. Have you seen it? <laughs> yeah. Is that like... First dates, but like it's like the undateables. Yeah, the undateables. But they call it love on the spectrum because the so everyone in it has a form of autism or Asperger's or whatever, and 
it's in, in in part of it, it's really, really moving and lovely. Yeah. And in other times, it's clearly just some TV production company have gone, yeah. let's laugh at autistic people. See, I don't like that. That's just exploitation because I think every one of us has got a form of autism. Yeah. Every one of us in our own little way. I personally think we're all on the spectrum, whether it's just whether it's the, the government spectrum or not, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just think we're all I'm, I'm a And I agree with you. I think most people, if not all people, are on the spectrum. Yeah. But the people on this show are there's really no debate on. about it. Yeah, you know no, what I mean? But that's that like I just think that's like fucking proper <laughs> callous that in it, you know what I mean? Like it's just like You should be in TV because you see I I'd see like I'd look so you know what would be a good T V programme, right? Put normal people in a room with these cunts of producers, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And just say, like, genuinely, what is the what what is the you know, the thinking behind this show? <laughs> is it to laugh at young girls? Do you know what I mean? Or is it crying? Is it to laugh at people with autism? Is it to laugh at fucking you know what I mean? Put them all together. Fat people, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But like, you know, like Let's, I bet they're not so fucking perfect. You know what I mean? I no, think the thing with the, with the undateables, put them on telly and laugh at them. Like, you said Island I mean? with the undateables. What they try their their defence of it is it's raising awareness of people who it, are on the spectrum. At, like, and then obviously the detractors say you're basically poking fun because it there yeah. are there are also moments the titles where a bit much in it. It's yeah. I've watched some of those episodes where you're like, it's actually quite heartwarming. Yeah, I get but that. But then it does tilt, tilt over to the point where we are, it's it's noteworthy because it just looks, it's so, their behaviour is so extreme in places we and they somebody. struggle with such basic things. And it does t t teeter into the taking the piss. Yeah, well, I guarantee people watch it and laugh at something that, you know, probably someone finds very hard to, to do. I, I laughed at one bit of it because it was... Me. It wasn't, you weren't laughing at the autism. It was this guy tried to play a cool, so he was heavily on the spectrum, right? And uh, so he's doing his, like, two-camera bit, where, like, he's looking past the camera at the producer, and he's like, yeah, so, you know, just want a, a woman who, like, likes the same TV shows as me and films. Like, uh, my favourite one is Toy Story 2. Love Toy Story 2, and that would be really amazing if I met someone who loved Toy Story 2 the same way I love Toy Story 2. And he says it about six times. And then he meets one girl and she's just like, not for him. Not at all. And the next one he goes, do you like movies? And she goes, yeah, my favourite film is Toy Story 2. And even this fella who's heavily on the spectrum goes, yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> that's not that's, that's Because that's related, that, like... You could relate to that yourself. <laughs> you know, if, if you didn't, play if didn't want to look like a proper muppet and go, ah, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, in his head at that moment, he's you like, I mean? you're my wife. Yeah. Oh, you're my wife Don't now. mind it. <laughs> but, uh, Don't Imagine he went, nah, nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Next. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or just partridge. Just get, get rid of it. Get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what dating show would you go on? Uh, <laughs> if you were single. There are many. There are many dating shows. Yeah, there's Love is Blind, where you date through a wall, you only meet at the end. Is that the one where you got to get your knob out? Which the one where you got to no, get your knob out? No, that's sexual attraction. Or naked, naked attraction. Naked you attraction. Get your knob out. <laughs> yeah, there is. Yeah, naked attraction. Naked no, attraction. No, uh, no, okay. For Dan. Okay, yeah. All right, okay, yeah, yeah. Don't go on blind date and get your knob out. <laughs> <laughs> or you could have picked number three. I could three. see you want to take me out, to be fair. <laughs> what? Coming down, coming down, down yeah. in the lift. Just oh, like, Dan, yeah. Dan, 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 do us a favour. Do us a favour. Show us what you wore, how the lift would be. Right. You got a... So oh, no, 25 a so females who, who've yeah. got to press a button. Oh. <laughs> yeah. when I come, I'm going to come out on a unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Black Whoa. Penny, bear my land. Whoa. <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> imagine I'm riding a unicycle. <laughs> right? Just look at that. <laughs> Yeah. You think that's quite a good impression of me riding I, you? I no, do, I do, no, it looks like an empty dance in the web. No, there was one point there, he called back and forwards, but then he Ooh. changed it up and stuff went over here. It was like, Ooh. yeah, Ooh. unicycles I come out on a unicycle. Big wheel, wheel, keep on turning. <laughs> all you look like is like one of your wheels on your chairs, bro. That's all it looks like. <laughs> Go on, so you turn round and you say to the women, Hi. All right, so say, hi, I'm Dan, and I'm from Preston. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm, ding, ding, I'm ding, 41 ding. and I'm... Boom, 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 boom. 
boo, 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 Shut up, you fucking gonks. Boo. Last one. There's one left, and it's it's Phineas. You got to win me over. Phineas, win me over. Phineulia. No, you get one. You get one question at the end, don't you? So what would you what would your question be on taking me out? Do you know that? What? What? You get one question. I've yeah. never watched an episode in my life. Oh, am I still on? So they, they whittle it down. <laughs> yeah. So there's thirty women, right? <laughs> Let the victim see the pedo. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. He's got, he uses yeah, them yeah, snappy yeah. lines, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, they whittle it down to two women. So there's two with the lights left on, right? Right. Uh, and then you get to ask the girls a question. So, but they normally make it a bit flirty. Like a blind so date like, style. Yeah. Girls, I'm quite the cook. If you were going to cook for me <laughs> while you suck me off, what would you cook and why? Cook, as in, oh, cook. Yeah. <laughs> cook. Oh, right. Yeah. And they've always got like a pre, pre-planned, pre like, flirty. I'm quite like, the cook. Thing. Could my mate Delroy absolutely smash <laughs> it in front of me? Oh, no. You mean, oh, you mean food? <laughs> Delroy. <Yeah. laughs> Go on, what question would you ask me? you got a friend called Delroy? <laughs> Delroy. Yes. <laughs> Let's say I have. Uh, can you, me and Adam, will have a prepared answer? What question would you ask us? Um, my name is uh, Carlina. My hey, name is I'm Italian. Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. <laughs> hey, when you do, even my name's got a fanny in it. <laughs> yeah. Steve Fanny. <laughs> Steve's fanny. What are you up, babe? I'll boo. Um, I like. Um, gonna be a question. Uh, what? It's got to be a question. Yeah. yeah. I'm just <laughs> setting it up. I like uh, watching Poirot with Finn's mum. What um, <laughs> what TV shows could we watch together? What's your name? Uh, Carlina. Carlina. We'll watch Carlin. Car- Coronation Street together. Right. Boo, I'll- boo. <laughs> you're fucking no, you can't. On. I'll Ken your Barlow any day. Oh, nice. Oh. I'll Deirdre your Rashid. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie. You're already winning this. <laughs> what? Because Carlina. I've got bigger tits. All oh, right. Okay. Fine. My favourite show is the in between, isn't it? If you're lucky, your cock might go in between my arse cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'm going for Stephanie. You're lost, you big fat bald twat. <laughs> 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 I'd, still, I'd still rather, rather watch Poirot with Finn's mum. <laughs> She's never caught me a fat ball twat. Poirot, <laughs> mate. Uh, um, Jamie Webster. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Next one. Um, talk us through what the arena was like because we're doing it this week. As as it goes out on this goes out on Monday. On Friday, the ninth. Sold out arena. You've just done it yourself. What are we in for? What What was that like as right, a whole yeah. town? Lad. So for me, obviously, like walking out is like you you, you can't prepare for it. You just can't. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I thought I tried to prepare for it loads. And I was like, you know, visualizing myself in my house, walking into my living room, pretending it was the stage and being like, and that just didn't work. Do you know what I mean? I just ha- walked out and went. Can I ask you a question? Had you played that arena in any capacity before, like no. opening for anyone else? No, no. No. And you had a support act on the night? Yeah, I had two, yeah. Right. Yeah, but, like, obviously you don't... You just... I'd sound checked on there, and obviously it's an empty room. There was a few few kids there, you know, involved with charities who come down to watch the sound check and stuff like that, which is nice, but just walking out, and all you see is lights. You know, because people's phones, and it's, like, yeah. what you see on someone's Instagram. Do you know when, like, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? You just, like... And it was, like, fuck, whoa. Do you know what I mean? I didn't really know... For what I think I said on stage, for once in my life, I'm fucking speechless. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And I just remember doing that loads. And to be honest, me adrenaline like it's just a roller coaster anyway when you're on this. So I don't remember too much. I've listened back to the set, and my voice sounds shaky as anything because I'm like, uh, you know, even in the singing and that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's just wobbly at the start and that. But no, like it's just when you get, you know, it's when you get your reactions. You finish your song and you go fuck, and crowd scream yeah. that. It's yeah, and you just go, whoa, fucking, this is bigger and louder. And did that settle you down? Yeah, well, I like, I ride my nerves anyway on stage. So as soon as I walk onto the stage, I'm like pumped anyway, like as if I'm going for a fight. Don't tell myself I'm going for a fight. It's just the way that my nerves ride me, do you know what I mean? So I'm fucking like that. And it's like, I walk on like the fucking tin man because I'm all possessed. And I just scream at the crowd as soon, like away from the mic, do you know what I mean? Just like address the crowd straight away and scream. 
And if they fucking if they go like give me something back, then my yeah. nerves are settled. Then do you yeah. know what I mean? It's only if they all go. Do you know what I mean? And you're like, I mean, a mad reaction now. The <laughs> yeah. arena, yeah. you scream at them and they all just go. No, but like I've done it once in like <laughs> I've done it in the Cavern Club once. I've done like a corporate gig, which wasn't a corporate gig. It was for like. A, for Berghouse and Scotch, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it was like competition winners and people who'd, and not necessarily my competitions, like clothing competitions and shit yeah. like that, you know what I mean? So it wasn't really my crowd. And like, I've got myself all pumped backstage and that, and I've walked out onto the stage, where like, fucking come out, you know what I mean? And the front row were just like, oh, do you know what yeah. I mean? It, like, it was quiet. Yeah, and yeah. It, like, it, Can I imagine that? And me, me, and me, like, my nerves were, were there for like another five songs then. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Until yeah, I felt totally. like I broke the back of yeah, the Yeah, if our first joke doesn't land, then we're fucked. Do you know what I mean? You, you yeah. take a while. Well, I, I have thought about, um, like people are going to have the lights on as we walk out, so I have been preparing for that. So I've got a load of fairy lights in me. Cupboard, nice. And I just keep <laughs> shutting <laughs> the shut cupboard. <laughs> so I just shut the cupboard behind me and turn the fairy lights on, and like it because they just look like phone lights in the distance. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, just get same practicing. Yeah, yeah, just in front of the Christmas tree. Like, what? Yeah. Fuck you. One yeah. thing I'd say is just like probably my biggest regret from it is that I didn't take the time on the stage to enjoy and appreciate and take in what was happening as much as I would. There's a couple of moments where I was stood back and I was like, "Well, this is fucking special." Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. I would have liked to have, like, obviously, but it's hard because you're always your own worst critic and you're always one. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah you, totally. But it's all on you, though, isn't it? You're, yeah, exactly. like, at least with us, we've got parts where... I've got a band behind me, lads, do you know right. what I mean? So it's, yeah. it, it, it's, it's not that I haven't done before. Do you know I've done it night after night. This is just a bigger venue, but it's just, like, I felt like, because I'd put so much hype and, like, pressure and expectation on the night, I, I, like, in the up to, like, you know, for the first, it went Pete Tong, actually, at the end. Not through any fault of my own. I had to cut songs out my set. I had arguments with the police while I was on stage. And that what in, happened in there? Years. Oh, it was a fucking nightmare. It was, so apparently, like, something happened. There was congestion at one of the bars. And yeah. people had phoned up, you know, from inside the arena, phoned the police and said, look, it's not safe by this bar here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because apparently what had happened, which hasn't been documented by anywhere, is that the e-bars went down, the internet went down on the e-bars, yeah. and everyone was forced on standing to this one bar, which was by the only entrance open for standing. So people were stuck outside trying to get in, yeah. and people couldn't get through the bar thing, and then it was a bit of a kerfuffle around half nine or something like that. And basically it took the police and the arena an hour to decide at half ten that the show had to be cut, right? Even though all the bars were now shut at this point. Which made no fucking sense to me. Yeah, so yeah. I'm stood on stage and I've got like someone in my ear from the venue saying, Look, you need to walk off stage now. And then you just come on and do your encore. And I, well, I've done it anyway, but I had plans to like play Ferry Across the Mersey, you know, after Weekends in Paradise, the last song, yeah, yeah. and sing it with the crowd off the mic, just like, you know, just have a moment. And they were like, you can't do that. And I had insomnia by Faithless after it to have a proper fucking dance with everyone, do you know what I mean? Like, just watch everyone go yeah. nuts. And they were like, you can't do that, you can't do that. you just got to come off now, cut the next four songs out, you're set, and, and just do your encore. And I was just like, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not coming <laughs> yeah, off stage. Fucking only, uh, Fuck you, I've worked all my life yeah. for this moment, I'm not doing it. And then, like, I just said, says, look, the police want me off stage here. You know, you have to come and arrest me if you're out there, fella. Sort of thing. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not moving. This is too. Big. This is too. <laughs> NWA. I ain't fucking leaving. Do you know what I mean? it's, like, it's too big a moment for me to just walk off. Because if I would have walked off stage there and flipped, I would have just wouldn't have been able to carry on with the rest yeah, of the yeah, show. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, I was like, nah, fuck it. We're cracking on. Said to the band, ignore anything that comes through your ears. You're on me. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, this yeah. is this is what we. If I if I say we need to go off, we go off. Do you know what I mean? If we don't, you stay with me. Fuck all this. So it fucked up a bit of like the timing on the click in our ears on a certain song. So we got to reset that. It's back to the start. Played this song. Fucking Jack's cousin Danny. He's been my mate since we were eleven. He, he, I was quite visibly like they were still telling me to get off stage, and I had the moment where because we went to school together and that. And like we've been mates since we were eleven, and fucking Danny's probably the best guitarist in the city. And um, play your fucking guitar, that, Danny that, lad. Yeah, is that him? Yeah, yeah that's Jack's cousin. <laughs> and um, so like I'd said, like as it, for, for us, as because like the other lads I've met since I've been in the music game, but Danny was me mate. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. through school and that so forth. For us, we're gonna have this moment, and, and we you play Blackbeard on 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 the acoustic, just me and you. I'll sing it. 
because McCartney was the last scouser to sell it, sell it yeah, out. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll do a tribute to him because we both fucking love McCartney. We'd had it planned, and then like they were like, "No Blackbird," no, and like after the the next song, they were still saying, "No Blackbird," and I was like, "We're playing Blackbird." I was like, "Fuck it!" I was like, "Danny, play Blackbird." To him. <laughs> and it was like that fucking hell, but didn't ruin the moment. He's a fucking honestly, he's amazing on the guitar, and he just smashed it. And that moment like sort of calmed me down a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it was like we'd done the Blackbird, and then it was like, look. My manager, who's like, he, he's in my corner all the time. So is everyone who works for me, do you know what I mean, with me. But my manager got on the thing into my ears because I have any ear monitors on stage. So he's talking into this mic off stage and he's like, look, if you don't pull, he was like, the, the police want two songs pulled from the set. He's like, if you don't pull, we get by and going out now. They're going to turn the PA off in the middle of your encore in, in in your last in your big songs which was this place and weekend in paradise so it was either cut them two big finale songs or cut we get by and going out and this was all having to be made while I was on stage with the fucking crowd in front of me do you know what I mean it was fucking horrific to be honest and um, I, to be fair to myself and to toot my own on a little bit I handled it like a fucking pro but despite despite calling <laughs> shouting pig cunts into the audience <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, <laughs> I handled it like a model uh, professional uh, yeah. and Absolute I left the pig pro. cunts yeah. now you were bang out of order you can fuck it I saw basically it was like and Brooke who sings This Must Be The Place With Me obviously she'd come all the way from Edinburgh do you know what I mean yeah, like yeah. to sing this song with me and she stood side stage ready to go so it was a case <clears> of like I'm not pulling that either because you know yeah, yeah. it's a big moment for her and me and I love playing that fucking song. It's my favourite song ever. Do you know what I mean? So it was like I'm not pulling that either. It's gonna have to be we get by and going out so I pulled them. So I was like, that was the bit where I got to that's the bit where I got a bit carried away and I was like, yeah, they, I'm gonna have to I am gonna have to pull a few songs because the police have said that they're gonna turn it off. So I hope you sleep well tonight, you big cunts. Here's <laughs> <laughs> Brooke. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> and now I introduce Brooke on the stage as he always do, like give her a big thing. She's fucking amazing. Like she's the, brilliant. She's yeah. like literally the best singer I have ever worked with. Like like I've ever sang in the same room as. Do you know what I mean? Her voice is like fucking incredible and her songs are boss and she's just like she's she's not like twenty two, twenty three, couple of years, she'll be fucking Glaswegian, right. but very much part of the Scouse music scene. Yeah. No, not Glaswegian, she's from Edinburgh, isn't she? Edinburgh, just, she's in, from Dalkeith, so that's like a miners' town just outside Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, she's fucking amazing, and like, yeah, she's... But she is based here, isn't she? Management are based here, and she's yeah. got she's got friends here. I'm not going to talk about her personal life or nothing yeah, like yeah. that, you know what I mean? But she's got friends here. She's, you know, when, I'm on, when I'm on tour, she, and she's down here, she stays in my house with Rachel and the dog. <laughs> and, you know I mean? she's, a mate, she's a proper mate of mine, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And a mate of my girlfriends, and a mate of, like, the people who I work with and mix with, and, like, she's, she's a lovely girl. And she, she, honestly, like, if anyone hasn't checked her out, check out Brooke Combe on uh, Spotify, because she's fucking, she's got the voice of an angel, and she's fucking kind of nice to tune as well, do you know what I mean? Cool as fuck. But, uh, so obviously we done that, and then when we got off, I was still livid. No, like, despite Weekends in Paradise and this place being, like, triumphant and fucking almost orgasmic to look at now since, do you yeah. know what I mean? And even at the time, you know what I mean, I'm there, but, like, just because of, you can imagine yourself, you plan a show, you fucking, you, you yeah. promote a show, you fucking have all these ideas for it. And then all of a sudden, like, on the night, in the moment, someone tries to take, or does take a, a bit of it away from you, and it was fucking... Like, I literally, like, I had to walk off stage, stay away from everyone for 20 minutes, stood in the car park, like, pff, pff. when I got it, I had, like, friends and family come back after the show to see me in, like, this, like, just there's a room there, I don't know if yeah. you, there's, like, it's, like, you can fit about 140 people in, you know, for, like, after yeah. show, if you've got any guests or whatever, and it was nice for me family and that to be there, and, like, I literally walked back through that corridor, all my family and friends were there, didn't make eye contact with anyone, just walked straight into the shower, Stood there for a bar, like, you know what I mean? A good, like, I ah, didn't do anything in the show before anyone <laughs> says anything. To, 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 you know, and uh, just, like, then seeing my family, seeing my friends, seeing, like, whoever was there, it was a bit of a whirlwind. But for days after, I was proper, proper wound up. It's only now that I'm, like, not now, like, since the period sale, <laughs> that fucking day that we sold out, the Friday period in 90 minutes, that made me feel happy. And then I was like, well, maybe I can look back at some videos now. To the arena and I've started looking back and 
since then I've been like, yeah, you know, yeah. that was fucking amazing. Like, I'm so happy I got to do that. But that's why I was saying with the regret side of it, I do wish that even before that moment where they come into me here about the police and that, yeah. I wish I would have, like, took it in a bit more and been like, yeah. wow, this is specialist. Like, look how far so, I've come, sort yeah, of yeah, thing. Absolutely. you got the PRA coming up in June the 30th and the 29th. Yep. Is that right? The 30th sold out in an hour and a half, yeah. which is 12,000 people. And then the Thursday is well on its way as well. Yeah, there was a, I think uh, there was a bit of a fuck up. Though not a fuck up. I think a lot of people bought tickets for the kids, you know, for the Friday. Yeah. And then we looked into the terms and conditions. It was like, oh, it's eighteen and over. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> me a massive favour anyway. So nice, one, nice one for not re- reading the small print. But now seriously, like everyone's been asking, like since that, what nine o'clock it went on sale. Ten thirty-five. My phone was just like. Lad, I've missed out. Lad, I've missed out. Any Friday tickets? Any Friday? I'm like, don't worry. Is a Thursday day coming on? I'm like, I'm in work Friday though. Have you, oh, you got <laughs> six <laughs> months to book it off, you soft yeah, cunts? Yeah, it's one of them. Fucking book it off, uh, mate. It's the, you just know yourselves. You, you probably get it now in and dating yeah. now that you put the sold out thing. As soon as it gets sold out, yeah. that's funny enough when your phone starts going. And <laughs> are you mate? Uh, how <laughs> sold out is this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are we talking for me? Like, for me? Yeah, yeah. Come on, we were in one lesson together yeah, in year eight. Come on. List, lad, any two, and, you know, it's, uh, you know, and like, you know, that's part of it, and it's part of the reason, you know, the, the, there's, there's two ways to look at it. You can look at it and go, fucking leave me alone, or you can look at it and go, I must be doing something right now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I that, tell you what, I, um, I hope the police don't get involved in the Have a Word live show at the arena, because I, <laughs> I can't imagine how that's going to go. I think you handled it pretty professionally. Uh, I would just calling see, them pink I would cunts. love to see comedians. I'd love it if someone's at the street. side going, Adam, <laughs> Adam, the police say stop the podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. We'll let you do one more joke. <laughs> Maybe two more jokes. Lads, I couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? And like, I hope it does happen. Yeah. No, it's, I just, I just, Too I hope fair. the police get involved <laughs> with our podcast arena show. Right. I cool. hope there's a reason for it. Yeah, It'd probably be to do with the fire. We explicitly it. said there's no flares. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. Um, so we when we booked the arena and I asked our promoter whether we could uh, encourage the audience to bring flares with them. <laughs> yeah. And they said that's absolutely not allowed. So I just want to reiterate. <laughs> One last anyone time. Anyone who's coming to the arena show, yeah. don't bring orange flares. Orange or blue. <laughs> yeah. You know our two colours? Like don't. A, like a dark blue. We'd, I need to be really clear about this. We can't have flares in the arena. Didn't. We'll post the RGB code to both the colours <laughs> so you can make sure you don't bring them. Well, I, think he's, well, I, got told, I, I got told by the arena on the day, uh, someone at the arena come, come, come up and was like, will you, will you post people not to bring flares? And I was like, well, do you want people to bring flares? <laughs> they were like, no. And I was like, well... I'm probably not going to post it then. Probably <laughs> tell us to do something. Yeah. Do, 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 do not bring flares. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. go don't to men- flares on no, us. Think, if you want flares. flares, what you should doing right now is bang on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Superb. No, no, but, we uh, don't. No, we need to be really clear here for legal reasons. We do not want anyone to bring flares to the event. It's going to look like Galatasaray, Fenerbahce. <laughs> no, no, no banners. All no you need is Graham Sooner. <laughs> we booked no him. Games soon as <laughs> we booked him. Yeah. No flares, no banners, yeah. no, no, no flags. No flares. No, no, not. D- don't come. <laughs> you got to say we will be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> they will stop the show. Yeah, we, it, the show will be stopped. But no, the, to be fair, there, there was the there photographs. Was Jack will be taken with those flares on. <laughs> you won't even be able to see the place. It'll look so cool. Don't do that. It'll look, it'll be really bad for everyone involved. It's going to yeah. be a twenty-two minute show. <laughs> <laughs> so fifteen minutes of us opening the show, seven minutes of the police going, uh, they've got flares. <laughs> and then, no, you're not listening. <laughs> I'm no flares. You, don't, don't bring flares. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No flares. <laughs> don't. Just ignore the pig cunts. And also, like. You're not going to get in with a flare. If you put it in your pocket or something, they'll catch you. So don't put it somewhere they can't find it. Up your ass, Like in your ass. <laughs> don't, don't Deirdre Rashid yourself with a flare. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Finn, do us a favour. Just find a website that do flares on next day delivery. <laughs> and let's just make and sure lube. people know where and not lube. to go. Hang on. To what, get them up is there. that fucking thingy shop still there? Um, the one by the Met Quarter further along used to be like a military shop. Oh, yeah. Don't go to, <laughs> to the flare called? shop by the Met Quarter. What was that called? 
Um, it was called Flares for the Have a Word Live Show. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, which, which don't go there. We what? don't want them. Yeah. Oh, Blacks. No, no, no. <laughs> no, not Blacks. That's like outdoor <laughs> shop, not a military shop. The no. military's outdoors, aren't they? <laughs> not, not all the time. Where'd you get a Flares? W.A. Smith. <laughs> no, that's the Navy, I suppose, but it's part of the military, you know, I suppose. But no, it was a military. What was it called? It was mi- was it called? Mil- no, military is another outdoor shop. Uh, and military. <laughs> military. Military. But uh, nah, it was there. Are you you, by the way, you corrected Dan then for something you said. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah. No, Dan. Jamie, it's shit. Yeah. Jamie's going to remember this shop and we'll tweet it, just so you know not hey. to go to this shop as well. Yeah, well, so far, all they're going to come in, in is waterproofs. Where is it now? Military and camping. Yes, don't, no. it's, but seriously, don't bring no, flares. Yeah, we're being really serious. Don't. <laughs> no, but it's <laughs> under any circumstances. I think it might bring... shut down. No, I haven't seen it. For... You know where it is? It's where the German Donner is now. Don't tell oh, them. I know. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's not there no more. Don't bring German Donner either. She's not oh. welcome. <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, mate. She's <laughs> gorgeous. Zed dirty. Um, no, but... So- um, Someone did actually bring... Someone did set off a couple of smoke bombs in the show. Do you know what I mean? Look and good. did your show carry on? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> In- interesting. <laughs> it was just, it was after the point. So was, go down millets or go down yeah, blacks. It was after they told me to stop, and then I'd said no, but then I did actually cut a couple of songs. It was Jordan, the supposed encore that I didn't get to do. I yeah. just stayed on stage, to be honest. But so it was Jordan. If you do accidentally bring any flares, do it at the end. Keep them for our encore. <laughs> do it yeah. at the end. Do yeah. it at the end, and then what's going to happen? You're going to get kicked out. It's for over anyway. Don't bring flares. Don't so bring flares. It's no. unsafe. And, hey, listen to know, Jamie. He's done yeah, it. It's unsafe yeah, and it yeah. looks cool as fuck. And it burns. <laughs> yeah. And it burn, It can burn your hands as well if you don't exactly. wear gloves. Wear gloves. gloves. You've got to bring yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Goalie gloves. Yeah. Make sure your dad lights the flare. <laughs> yeah. Stand well back. Yeah. There you go. So SJM, yeah. we, we told them, <laughs> right? We told them. Oh, do you do S, is SJM your promoters? Yeah. Oh, I work with them on some shows as well. Fucking yeah. sound. There you go. Really they good. know then. No, they yeah. are really good. Yeah. They didn't do that show. No. No. <laughs> no, but seriously, don't bring nah, flares. SJM are the fucking bollocks, mate. They're the fucking yeah, bollocks. They're they're whatever you do, if you do bring flares, no, but don't. You, you won't be allowed in if you caught one. So if you right are going to accidentally ass. bring one, right make sure ass. you hide them. No really flares. Well. No, the 10 unless the flares walking in like... Unless, unless mate, the flares pants... Also, it's also... Oh, yeah. You can bring flares... flares. Yeah, <laughs> or like have a decoy flare so when they find that one they think they've found all your no, flares have a decoy like bag of grenades they've been well more interested in that and then you go oh no I, I had a flare up my ass for the fan park in Paris that you were singing on <laughs> did you yeah yeah and then I didn't use it I gave it I <laughs> gave there. it to someone else oh, oh, great, even better. in exchange for his position in the bar <laughs> cute really? he was in the queue for the bar and I was like the fucking size of this and a I had my flare, flare in my hand and he went you can have my space in the queue if I can have that flare and I went, yeah. And it, I just pulled it out my ass. <laughs> it been in your like, ass. What? <laughs> Not <laughs> actually in the ass. In the crevice. Oh, 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 oh that's fine. <laughs> it's, better than, it's, be, it's, it's a considerable amount better. No, Parisian <laughs> swamp pass. <laughs> what, walk into a Champions League final with a flare of your ass? Oh, it's fine. It's just been near his cheeks. <laughs> Oh, you haven't no, slept in I've, three days. Oh, oh my God. Hey, <laughs> what do you think happens to most of the drugs people buy in festivals? Do you think they're asked about holding a bit of a shitty flare? Yeah. Where do you people think all the lemon, all the hundred sh- kilos of lemon? up the nose. <laughs> do you know what I mean? People, yeah, but you don't like well, coke do on drugs. fire, do you? I don't, I don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Burning shit. Yeah. Imagine how many different assholes. I've sniffed. <laughs> You've sniffed. <laughs> Yeah, but they made those assholes made me feel really confident. <laughs> ah, hey, are you telling me grammar. lighting a flare wouldn't make you feel fucking powerful and confident? <laughs> oh, it does, you know. No, don't. No, it wouldn't. It make you feel not cool. in an indoor thing, but it no. maybe. Right. I've been. I went. I mean, I was. I was seventeen. I went to V Festival once and like got a flare out to like the stereophonics, and I thought I was the fucking bollocks. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I felt like it for like the whole time the flare was burning, and even after it, people were coming up to me like. Oh, and then you it's sniff like your hand you, and you're and like, like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> well, just to be clear, yeah. don't bring any yeah. whatever I know, you do. I know. By the no, way, please, no, please no. don't bring flares because I, I, I'm i made up with the work I'm doing with SJM at the minute. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> so, so we're just going to be 100% clear on this, Carl. Carl, yeah. can you just look at your camera and give people advice no grenades. On- <laughs> Simon, Conrad, Jack, this is fuck all to do with me. Don't bring flares because we will be, you know, sad. Yeah. I, I'm wearing flares. Bring tomorrow. cocaine though. <laughs> yeah, you can Bring wear cocaine. You can wear flares. Yeah. yeah. 
By all means. Oh no, don't wear flares. I am actually wearing flares tomorrow. Stop it. What no, kind? It's me, me bird's thirtieth party. My fiance's thirtieth party, and it's at Studio Fifty Four themed. Oh shit! Oh nice. Yeah, we which is, it's new, great. Right? Like, but it's like it, it, you know, you have to wear flares basically. But, yeah, but they're uh, not jeans flares, are they? They're like no, they're like pants flares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, what color? Oh god, mommy made store just like a. You know, it's been like winds me bed up proper because like it's it's not fancy dress, it's a theme. If you're talking to it, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's a theme, guys. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. not fancy dress. <laughs> and just, yeah, and then one of the lads is like, "Have you got all your grip yet?" Yeah? And I was like, "Yeah, Rachel ordered all man. I'm sorted. What are you doing for yours? <laughs> going to Smithy's, me." <laughs> <laughs> She's been going busy. <laughs> Why is everyone? People have been saying, I'm just saying. Oh, like I said, to, said to me brother, who's 18. He went, you look, hey, I'm going to, he's like, I'm going to look heavy me, you know, lads. And I was like, oh, are you, lads? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like I was the Jack. And I was like, oh, yeah. And he's like, yeah, lad, trust. And I was like, yeah, what? Are, Is this what, our Jack? What are you wearing? And he just looked at me and just went, Ron Burgundy. Are you wearing like a silk shirt? I'm like wearing ham? like, yeah, it's sort of, it's got like, I don't want to give it away, but basically, yeah. <laughs> give it away. Yeah. Give it away. Uh, isn't the party, did you say the party's yeah. tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. This doesn't go out till oh, Monday. Oh, sound, yeah. I'm wearing, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a silk starred shirt. I don't want any of my mates to rob any of my grip, you see. Uh, and then the flares, obviously, and these boot things. Boots. She picked oh. everything. But it, I, I've got to say, I, I tried it on and it's obviously not what Glasses? I'd normally wear. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, rose tinted oh, ones. Yes. And like a George Harrison fucking Zorro hat. Oh, you know what I mean? That's what you're wearing sh- on your next tour. No. <laughs> no. God, can you I- can't sit wear that and shout fuck the Tory. Can, I-, <laughs> can uh, I just say, I want to adopt something that I just heard. Trust. 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 Is that in, like, trust me, lad? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mother's lad, trust. That's trust. another one. That's How a jail term. I had a mate who went to jail. Mother's? And he come out of jail saying, mother's lad, trust. It means, like, me mum's life. My trust life. me. Do you know what I mean? But he just said, mother's lad, trust. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I haven't heard it since he, since he got out of jail. He, he, you know, he quickly dropped that lingo, to be fair. But <laughs> uh, it was was a bit of a while ago. But like he come out of jail and I learned so much new slang. It was fucking great. I felt dead cool for about... We teach know. Dan all the scout slang. Sure. Yeah. Like jazzy. Yeah. Jazzy. <laughs> Drip jazzy when it's too hot. <laughs> Willy Wally. Hey, don't be a Willy Wally. He's fucking jazzy's dead jazzy. Another word. Jazzy's another word for weird. <laughs> Jazz cabbage. Yeah. Jazzy yeah, cause, Jeff. Because you light it on fire. Jazzy Jeff. Off. Yeah. Should we have a break? <laughs> Trust. 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 <laughs> Got some great questions. Trust. <laughs> What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's time to tell you about Dan's absolute favourite sponsor. It is. Whoop. Whoop. I, it's honestly, it's difficult to put into words how much I absolutely love Whoop. What is Whoop? It's a... Uh, I know what Whoop is. I wish I didn't know what Whoop is so you could educate me. I'll tell it. you who doesn't know. It's Peter. What? It's Peter. What? The Whoop. Have a word the snake. Have a word snake. I, I'm what? your mate. Hello. I don't it? know. If you touch my skin, it actually burns. So please refrain. <laughs> that was bleak. Um, do you know what, Peter? Everyone's noticing re- recently you look like a right fat twat. I have to apologise, Dan. My wrist won't turn that way to look at you. Oh, don't worry about it, Peter. Uh, Peter, I've got a question for you. Do you use Whoop? No, I haven't got a clue what it is. Okay, well, if you went to join.whoop.com slash have a word, you could get started. It's a wearable device. You put it on your wrist. Now, you haven't got any wrist, so you'll have to put it around your bollocks or something, right? I haven't but you got put bollocks it, either. You put it on, and as you're slithering around doing all your exercise, it monitors your strain, your recovery, monitors your sleep, and also you can compete with us. You can join the have a word community huh? by entering the code C-O-M-M-H-V-A-W-R-D. You get a, mo- a free month's Whoop membership thanks to the Have A Word podcast if you go to join.whoop.com slash have a word. And also, there's a money-back guarantee so you can try before you buy. Do you know you what really mean? like it. It's really good. I've been doing it. I think I'm in the lead out of everyone for all, all of... I'm doing dead well. Get involved. Join the community. It's a massive lead table to see how you're doing compared to us and the other lids. I'm really enjoying it. Sign up with Whoop. What do you reckon, Peter? I'm angry look look because I didn't know about this deal before. Look at that. Look at that. It's all the metrics and everything. Fucking mad. <laughs> Sign up at whoop.com. Join.whoop.com <laughs> slash have a word. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I, I want to go to the Thursday show. I know the Friday's sold out, but I think we should buy it. I'm not, we're not blagging. Blag I think away, it would be fucking no, we'll quality if we weren't. If anyone, if, 29th, but if anyone 
can come. I don't mind talking people out who are work with and who give me a platform to talk you know, about we'd my rather thing. Buy it off yeah, you. I know you because you know how it goes. Do you know what I mean? Likewise, but if you know, <laughs> whatever, and probably on camera, I don't care. But like <laughs> people like you who, who work in, in in the entertainment industry, yeah, yeah. You know, we don't say. Oh no, we'll buy. I would. I just. I think it's going to be. I think I've never. Se- I've never seen you live. Oh, I think it would be a great for us. We work in the city centre to just fucking yeah, just mooch on down, down on a Thursday. Yeah. You could do a have a word special live at the period. On backstage, is you and that? Yeah. We just, <laughs> we'll just copy Jamie's fucking business model. Let's <laughs> yeah. do everything Jamie does six months after he does it. No, no, I mean, like, no, on the day, you could be like, do you know what I mean? We're here, how's it feeling? Do you know what I mean? We could sort something out like that and have a proper laugh and then capture some mad shit from the stage. Oh, my God. Do you know God. what I mean? Like, comparing it. No, no. 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 <laughs> I didn't know, like, do you know, like at a just festival, like, you have like someone. On. Yeah, no, no we could be like when you rehearse and we're there, and like, yeah, when you're and like, like if you just wanted to be involved, do you know what I mean? We could sort something out where, like, I don't know, if you just, I don't know, just sort it out. If you just want Question: to be, Can we bring flares? Yeah, <laughs> nice outside, one. Outside. outside. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah. But you can't if you do bring, bring flares to the arena, <laughs> let them off outside the arena or inside. <laughs> 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 or don't actually bring them. If you, it's gonna, you gotta hold it quite high as well. Shut up about fucking flares. <laughs> um, we need to get the message across, or we're we gonna do. get in trouble and get a fine. <laughs> we do. I see. You. Look, the business man just telling us to do it now. Oh, fuck it. He's not. He's not responsible. He's not are we, are responsible. we being told not to bring them or not to like them? I don't think that's how it works. They, you can't just walk into like. <laughs> A fucking it's all about the yeah. fine print. If you oh, this is a big bang smack, but I'm not gonna have yeah. any of it. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Hey, that guy's got a gun. <laughs> well, he's not firing it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Uh, this Pizza Express has got really twitchy recently. <laughs> in there, in there. Shoot shoot there's a, a bomb in this bag. I'll have, I'll have that pizza. <laughs> can shoot a gun. I'm just taking me bomb on holiday. <laughs> fucking get over it. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna blow the plane up. Questions. But Jamie Rogers you sound says. Suspicious. <laughs> Jamie Rogers says, "Hi, Lids. I was watching Paul Smith on James English's podcast, explaining after his best shows that he's fully smashed and he's feeling high in the buzz of smashing a gig. He hates going home and just sitting on the sofa and feeling nothing and borderline suicidal. Do any of you guys feel this after smashing a gig, or are you on a high all night and don't have a come down from the buzz? Keep up the good work and keep smashing. I can't, the pod. I can't sleep after the gig. Like I, I go home and play FIFA until I can't keep my eyes open." Jamie, what's your absolute f- quality gig? You've loved it. What's your pizza banger bed? <laughs> pizza what? Banger, banger like sausages. Sex? No, no, no. Sex, Adam. The thing that I said we couldn't sp- speak about. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Pizza, relaxation bed. Just because you me? brought it up now, Jamie has gangbangs. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah. all his shows, <laughs> yeah. pizza. But, um, no, it's just a. Uh, I I'm, I don't drink me. Like I'm drunk for a couple of years now, so like the 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 uh, the going out and getting smashed up doesn't. What made you stop drinking? Performing, lad. To be honest with yeah. you, and it's like it's so easy to like as you know, like when you're going on the road and you're going do gigs, every dressing room's got a fucking fridge full of ale. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Now, probably, you know what I mean. Now that you're like known. In the yeah. city, you just go out for a pint. People want to buy you a pint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, go on, lad. Just have a pint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I insist. Do you know what I mean? It's just easy to say, I don't drink. At the match, people want to buy you a pint. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. And it's like, somewhere along the line, me, because I have got a bit of an addictive personality. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to end up an alcoholic. Do you know what I mean? Because there's fucking, like, you know, oh, have a drink to settle your nerves. Have a drink to come down after your gig. Oh, have a drink for fucking, just because you're here with us. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, and, and, if I drink, right, because I've got that addictive personality, you know, don't have one or two. You have a fucking load. Yeah, yeah. You have a load of other stuff that you shouldn't have, and you smoke fucking 50 ciggies. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I can't talk the next morning. I don't know about any of you after doing that. So imagine trying to fucking sing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, like, like, and, like, the, the way I see it now is, like, <coughs> people, like, people, like, in, in a world that it's getting fucking extremely harder and harder to live in. Just financially, right? Everything's getting inflation is is here to stay. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah, it's ever it's you know it's indefinite inflation, isn't it? It's yeah. always going to be there. It's always going to happen. So look, I'm asking people to pay between thirty and forty quid to come down to one of my shows, right? They've got kids or they've got 
Fucking and you feel like you owe them the yeah, best version exactly, of yourself. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You turn up with half a fucking voice because you've been on the shite in the ale all night. Do you know what I mean? Thinking you're playing <laughs> playing the fucking rock star. Do you know what I mean? Before you've done your shows. And then what? So what, you've just bumped people out of 30 quid to line your pocket, but you haven't even given them what they've come to see. Do you know what I mean? For me, it's just... You know, I only I'm so can't. glad you said on the shite then, because recently in one of Dan's Scouse lingo lessons, we we taught him what on the shite means, and he didn't <laughs> believe us, and no, you've no, just yeah. dropped it into conversation. Yeah, genuinely, there. yeah, on the shite, yeah. <laughs> but like, and and it's just I don't know, it's just I feel better for it as well. Do you know what I mean? And like, I remember shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, I remember like when when you go in the studio and you record that track. Do you know what I mean? Because I haven't fucking. Got on the air halfway through the day. I remember every decision. I remember yeah. all the moments of the of the music and like why is it a gig? Do you know what I mean? Like there's not like next year's tour. I'm not I'm not boozing <laughs> because uh, this tour I didn't even booze that much on tour. But we had our Luban uh, restaurant special. I went out on the shite and then didn't sleep properly. I was on the Saturday night of Birmingham on a three day run. I had to go to London the next day. I was fucking wiped out. Yeah, and man. I was I was doing the show to the best of my ability. But you're like, I was having to basically write off the day to get right for the night to do the gig. To, like, this is, it's different because I've learned through years of working on the circuit where you do three, four gigs a week or whatever, and you're driving around. I could do that 25 minutes, absolutely hoof it, hungover or whatever. So much different when you're playing to your people. It's all on you. It's your show. It's your It's a career. longer performance. It's your brand. It's more important. And I... Next year's tour's on sale now, and the schedule's a bit more, going to be a bit more demanding. And I know that I'm going to have to just get off the ale for two or three months, which I can do because yeah. th it's more important. Yeah. And that's the other side of it. You're fucking knackered. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who wants to work when you're knackered? Do you know what I mean? No I, one um, does. I find being hungover adds to my energy on stage, so I'm on the next floor trying to drink more. Right, cool. That's my plan. I'm not going to do a single show yeah. without at least because eight points. Inflation's, <laughs> inflation's real. People have got kids, and you don't want to give them... Anything but the best version of you, which yeah. is hungover, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, hungover, like, because I'm quite dismissive on stage. So, ah, fuck it. Yeah. That, that's what a hangover makes you feel. So I, it's important for my health and my, for my career. Yeah. And there's a little but bit of crying to towards the end. Show. Little, yeah, they give you an encore, you cry. <laughs> yeah. But that's part of it, isn't it? Yeah, it's all theatre, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jamie, do you find yourself protecting your voice? Yeah, that's what I've I do. always wanted. That's because of the ciggies and the, the shite. Well, the shite bands your vocal cords, you know what I mean? You look at all them singers, like look at Liam Gallagher and people like that, you know what I mean? Loads of so many top, top singers have lost their voices because of that. Do you know what I mean? Because what it does is, it, uh, as you know, if you've took it, it goes down the back of your throat, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? It seeps down the back of your throat and it's fucking, mate, it kills you. But and what a lot of people don't know is your vocal cords actually start in your nostrils. And they go down your throat. Yeah, that's, that's another that's thing true. as well. Yeah. But like, but, I mean, like, do you, do you do you go to yourself right? <clears throat> I need to protect this so I can have a longer career. Yeah, well, it's like I had to get singing lessons for the first time before me last tour last year. So I've been singing. Really? Yeah, I've been singing for twenty six years. Wrong. wrong. Yeah, the way you breathe. <laughs> it's breathe essentially. Like was you, you your voice? Was your voice ruined at the end of every gig? Yeah, I, 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 that, that was the thing. It was like I was doing because it was only I was doing the Liverpool gigs and whatever. But they were like, you know, I remember one. We done one tour of Ireland with the boss gigs, and the boss gigs is slightly different because you're not singing; you're shouting over. So, for anyone Portland. who doesn't know, the 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 boss gigs that he's talking about, the boss nights, is it's essentially. It started as before or after a Liverpool game. Yeah. You would sing Liverpool songs to music. Yeah. In front of a crowd full of in people who were... We're going to do them in six months. I'm excited <laughs> about I'm looking forward but, to it. But no, yeah, that, the boss things are, for anyone who doesn't know, it's like where, how I come into music, sort of. Do you know what I mean? It was playing LA, 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 Liverpool songs for mass numbers of Liverpool fans around Liverpool games. So when we were doing them tours of them football gigs, it is very much, ah, fucking, fuck, you know what I mean? You can yeah. sort of get through it because it's it's just a, it's like a display of fucking alpha male dominance yeah. almost from the stage. You're singing, you're shouting nursery rhymes at adults yeah. who, who, who are pissed. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's what, that's what I'm doing with passion. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's, you can you can do that with the sore throat because you just fucking make, make it. You just seem more passionate if anything. Yeah, do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? But like when you've actually got to hit notes and you you know what I mean. You've got you're playing with musicians and you've just all sorts of melody going on throughout the songs, and like you wanna you wanna be able to sing the songs how they sound on the record and shit. And I mate, I'm constantly like if I'm you know if I've ever, ever had to smoke or anything like that when I'm on tour, I'm straight into like I have a, a steamer. Have you seen them like a Doctor Nelson's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a, 
and you're like, your face. You, yeah, yeah, and you pour hot water into it. It steams your your, your throat yeah. and that. I'm on that all day. Lemon, ginger, manuka honey. Before bed, I have the spoonfuls of honey. You know, like fucking medical grade honey. And then your lemon and ginger drinks all day. Probably about four liters of water. Do you know what I mean? What's medical grade honey? It's manuka honey. Strong it's, sure. It's manuka yeah. honey. So like you know, when girls get like breast implants and that, sometimes they give them manuka honey dressings. You know, over the scars and that. It's like it's like <laughs> manuka bees. No, seriously. If no. I'd have honestly in this episode. I've been asked to guess about fake boob scars being dressed in honey. <laughs> that is so on point for yeah. have a word. Like we're talking about inflation well, no, and then honestly, fucking honey it, tits. It is. So it's like manuka honey. It's like it's, it's from manuka bees, and they're only in New Zealand. So they're like these fucking super bees, basically. And like it's all all the, all the honey from them, and like it comes over like medically stamped and certified. You get it in all in the bar, and that's about eighty quid a jar. It's fucking honestly, it's proper. But like if you like if you've cut your hand, do you know what I mean? And like I've done it before where I thought ah oh, putting a plaster over it or whatever, it's just only a little paper cut or something I've literally do you know where it's proper bleeding, pissing out, put a little smither of honey over it, mate. And and it heals. But imagine, you know, putting it down your throat all day, it just gets yeah, rid of it. Healing. And then right before I go on stage, I have a shot of apple cider vinegar with the mother black garlic and manuka honey all in contained. It's the most rancid thing you will ever drink in your life. But if your voice is gone, and it just burns. Really, yeah. Yeah, I wonder I, if normal bees ever get promoted to make that honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, for like smashing it. Hey, do you know yeah. the lava buildings? <laughs> I've, got, I've got bees I've got on the top of it. Shot this, you know. What? You know, the, there's bees on the top of the lava buildings <laughs> that make honey. What? No, nah, mate, I shit you not. I've got a video on my phone there. They've got. I went up to the top of the lava building to do a bit of filming for a documentary, and there was fucking then. Bee fucking crates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beehives. Oh, beehives, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I got the word there. And, uh, and I was like, what, what? They were like, oh yeah, we make our own honey. And I was like, the well. bees said that? <laughs> what? The bees said that? The older woman. She was like, we make our own honey. The bees, bees, bees were out at the time, they were in the hive. That is Bullet. the most scouse fucking honey ever. Where's your fucking honey, mate? On the liver building. <laughs> honey you sounded cow. Welsh then, lad. <laughs> On the liver building. On the liver Trust. building. The la- Trust. <laughs> Trust. <laughs> Mothers, mate. Yeah. Got another Mothers, question? Trust. On me fucking liver bees. Um, is there any advice left? Um, no, we've got some have a words, though. Should we end on have a words? Because yeah, Jamie's yeah. got fucking honey meetings. <laughs> yeah, I'm meeting Big Manuka. <laughs> Um, Ross says Wag wag lids Could you have a word With the fucking stupid cunts That go to a fast food restaurant Clearly not that hungry Get their receipt With the number at the top And then stand there And ignore the first four shouts Then suddenly realise After five or six calls Oh yeah that's me Keep up the good work Love all the specials They are the best in the business That's from Ross Who I think Works at Mackey D's (laughs) (laughs) I'm, I'm with them though To be fair I'm fully with them I'm like a Proper angsty kid when it comes to that, you know, like airports and that. You know, I'm in the airport, yeah. me flights at like fucking yeah, half five. I've got to be there. I'm like, I've got, I'm looking. You know, it's like gate info in yeah, four yeah. minutes. Oh, I'm exactly. I'm like, yeah. do you know what I mean? I'm at the gates and I'm like fucking. So I get it. He's one of them people, defo. Yeah. Like if I have a receipt, I'm constantly like, yeah, I'm five, yeah. I'm five away. Yeah. You know, I know. I, I try and judge it before they've even yeah. Like they, I, I watch what they're putting in a bag, yeah, same, and I'm like, yeah. oh, that's yeah, gonna that's be mine. That. Same lad, I I'm already do. at the front. And I'm like, is that number four? I say the number. Yeah, before they go like number five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They can't do nothing about it. I think I, you're like I, a secret shopper in Mackey D's. You get yeah. annoyed, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I agree with Ross. I would like to sort of say we. I think McDonald's need to admit that this Argos system they've implemented yeah, as well hasn't shy. worked. Load of shit. I know. There isn't a t- in the Chester one now. There's just a fucking hole in the wall, and like, oh god, what do you want to do? Like, it's I don't mind the <laughs> someone's in there. Oh god, it was like the drive-through, and then you go inside, and it's just like a human drive-through. They, like, I don't mind the ordering it on the the computer, the poo screen. But I just I feel like you need an gonna, old school. Are we, we going to go to the passports now? Are we going to talk about the e-gates and the passports as well? You know, because I don't... Oh, fuck off, Carl. No, I don't like getting judged by the French cunt sitting there. Oh, oh, mate, judge away. You're not going to... Have you ever been turned away? What? Have you ever been turned away? No, but I don't like... Well, there you go, then. You've obviously been judged right. Take your hat off. You take your hat off. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> nah, like, oh, them e gates, do they just I go down. I like them. They just go down. And then it's like, hang on a minute. Like, if you just had five people <laughs> working, do you know what I mean? We'd all be out of here by now. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Who the fuck are you? I do not recognise. What authority have you no, got? Yeah, international yeah, law. Does any e-gates look at you and they're like, no, nah, you're not real. Do you know what I mean? And you're, you're like, I am, I'm here. Here's my passport. Why won't you just open? Got no ghosts in here. No, look at him, they go. <laughs> go on then. I'm like, yeah, that is me. You're yeah. going to God here. <laughs> like, you're the first fucking guy to no, catch I don't me. Mind that. I, I... Is he a terrorist? Is he a terrorist? <laughs> no, not a terrorist. Got him. No, because I like I know I've got nothing to add, so like I quite like. <laughs> Neither have I, Jamie. So, so I quite I quite like it when they're like, "What are you doing here?" And you're like, "Well, I'm here to do this." If you must know, and they're like, "Oh, you've beat me," and Same I take that. that as a victory and Same walk in. In, uh, in Paris, the lady looked at me and said that I went, "Oh, I'm here for the UFC," and she was looking at the card on her phone. We had a little joke about it. That was quite cool. Nah, no, fair enough. But re- usually see, when see they judge that's... you with the foot... You don't even know what you like. <laughs> you don't even know who you are, I like Cal. complaining, Jamie. <laughs> that's what it is. I just don't like getting judged by some... By someone who's there to judge you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone who's there in the, you know, in the intestine. And then he gets the book and he goes to it and goes, oh, that, that's got six stamps on it. I'll I've got that. a boss... Go on a new page. I've got a boss story about someone who did actually get turned away from Russia once <laughs> when we went to Russia. Lucky cunt. Yeah. No, honestly, it was a f- Kazan is a fucking brilliant city, by the way. I had a great time there. But when going into Russia, and obviously you have a visa like in America, you know, where they put a page on your passports yeah. and that. It's like your own picture, your name in Russian alphabet and that. So this lad's the first lad to go off the flight in our group to go through. And he stood at the thing and like they sort of lock you in like a little, you know what I mean? Gate opens, like the passport yeah, gate yeah, a little shuts void. behind you and you're trapped in the thing with this Russian judge. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they were like, just just kept saying to him, no, no, you can't come in. And pointed at this page that was ripped out in his passport and like sent him on the next flight back home. So then a couple of days like later, we, we seen him at the away game at, at home, you know, I mean, in England on the Sunday. And uh, said, what happened there, lad? Why the fuck did they turn you away? He said, lad, I was, I was in Ibiza <laughs> and uh, someone wanted a roach for a joint. <laughs> and he ripped the page out of his passport. And then I, I was crying, laughing oh at him. And he just looked up God. at me and went, I've never smoked weed in my life. <laughs> 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 was a belt and I was like, what a sausage, do you know what I mean? But he's a good can mate you, of mine as well. Can you not have to face your passport, no? No. Not at all. You Don't can think. draw a muzzy on yourself if you've grown a muzzy since the... <laughs> no, you have to draw a muzzy on as you go for it. <laughs> no, but if you've grown a beard since the, the photographs have been taken, you are that. allowed to draw that on just so that they can be like, oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. what happens if you lose it? You what? Pencil, you rub it out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all the answers. <laughs> There's a lab we know who uh, had a, a weed vape pen. Like, it had actual weed in, but like yeah. a vape. And he uh, walked off the plane in Dubai, smoking it. He's like, it's Larry Dean. And they were like, what's that? And he's like, it's me weed vape pen. <laughs> so he got put in jail for a bit. And the comedy club had to come and get him out. If they'd have known that he is also a homosexual man, I think he might have been in a lot more trouble. Yeah. Right, yeah. Like yeah, definitely. I'm surprised that, he got out. Yeah, that's he's lucky. Mate, you know I, I mean, shat mate? myself walking around Dubai with a root beer. I literally went for a walk and I had a can of root beer and I was like, fuck, I'm going to get arrested because they're not going to know it's not a real beer. <laughs> How you walk off a plane like, yeah, I'll have just a two on my fucking vape pen. Um, when me and Rachel went to Dubai, they literally, like, we were coming out the airport and he just grabbed it, grabbed it. Not like, not me, do you know what I mean? Grabbed it, fucking took it aside, put up, like, shit in a bag, like, weren't, weren't satisfied, moved it on to this next, like, this fella just kept getting more and more religious. You know, the, each fella who came was more and more <laughs> religious as, like, we were going and moving up the chain. No, first of all, it's a fella in, like, a fucking, you know, like a suit, like a, an actual police it's like uniform. Military, isn't it? Yeah. But then the next fella's, like, in a robe with a fucking, do you know what I mean? And he's, like, some religious fucking... And the next one was the king. And the next, you know what I mean? And it was, like, fucking... Uh, she had nothing on it. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, because he goes to Dubai with stuff in the fucking hand luggage, do you know what I mean? Or the suitcase, but... Well, obviously, some people probably do, but... Uh, and it was like the, the, like the way that he like spoke to her and treated her, it was like, I was like screaming. 
and he was like just pointing at me, you know what I mean? Yeah, just to just say like, shut dead. up now. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And I was like, you're fucking powerless, man. Fucking, he's yeah. a brave fella who ever took that weed. We used to do like, gigs I'd in like Bahrain, and, and <laughs> they they just couldn't be asked getting the proper like uh, visa for it. So there'd be like six, seven of us, two comedians, like three or four musicians, like a, a couple of dancers, and the person running the gig. And we'd all have to lie that we were just pals going to Bahrain for a, for a little holiday. And then you get that moment where you'd just be like in the visa bit and there'd be one guy talking to another guy and you'd be like, just cool, just don't look panicked. It's absolutely fine. Not breaking the law or anything, just trying to save money on these visas. And by the end of it, there'd be like you five, say it out loud, they five of them. Suspicious. <laughs> five of them like doing that thing of like, oh, dun, 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 dun shit in it yeah it's just not the part of the world where you should be no. fucking around no it's not do as you're told yeah yeah so in answer to your question ross yeah Mackie d's is well annoying <laughs> <laughs> i was with them from the start i agree, <laughs> I agree. My, my experience at the bahraini visa <laughs> at manama visa control would suggest that yeah dead annoying <laughs> That's the old point of just them get things, your McFlurry a thick cunt. So just go off topic, not like that's all we all lad. That's yeah, all we do. Yeah, because we're not. Otherwise, you'd just be a fucking column in the newspaper, wouldn't you? Yeah, like, shut you, up. You know what What's I mean? his name? Yeah, Ross. Shut up, Ross. If you're not oh. happy with the way the credit with the answer went, mate, tough shit. Yeah. Fucking right into Ross. I'm to, we're I don't know, Tony Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> on the right like right into Tony Barrett. Yeah. Shut up, your bollocks. Oh no, Christ. not even Tony Barrett. Tony Barrett's been mate. <laughs> no, right, right into Tony yeah. Barrett. <laughs> Find Jamie's mate. Right, right, right into like, fucking oh, Bradley Walsh's column in the Star or something like that. You there know what you mean? go. What's his um, name? <laughs> have we got a song? Yes, we have a song. Right, okay, no pressure. Whoever's this better be good music because we've got mm. Jamie fucking Webster. It's a, a band from Essex called Rolled Up Sleeves, um, and it's their tune. You're in love with an idiot. Great. Uh, uh, just Jamie, where where can people get tickets to your PR show? Online, um, oh, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> go on the yeah. internet. <laughs> the best We're going to get it up for you right yeah. this. Uh, yeah, if yeah. you just go to Google and type in Jamie you Webster PR, the, I imagine so. It'll it's come like up. Ticketmaster. Yeah, you know what I mean. All the normal. There's, there's a few on the arena so, yeah, site. Yeah, it's all the normal places. Yeah, so Ticketmaster. Ticket we'll put the link up, won't we? We'll put the. Don't go on Vigo Go because you'd be paying over the odds, for, and you'd just be paying some cunt out, who's a. Uh, Who's who, you know lives by bumping people basically? Can we get tickets? So we should buy ours right now, shouldn't we? Can really? we get tickets now, please? Yeah, nice one. Yes. Uh, thanks, Jamie. It's been absolutely quality. I love coming on here. You're a fucking dead funny and dead sound. One thanks my, very much for coming on, as always, guests. lads. And an absolute pleasure. Our say, arena show is so, sorry. Got good luck with your arena show. Cheers, as well, man. I Sold to out. Say. Thank you, mate. Um, it's been a pleasure. The rolled up sleeves, ladies yes. and gents, just on the audio. Bye. Bye, Felicia.